Okay. Hey, everybody. How you doing? It's Bruce here. Stock Markets with Bruce. It is uh, <clears throat> November the 2nd, uh, 2021. Welcome to the second day of November. Glad to have you here. Glad you could join us. Uh, hopefully another fun day of all kinds of activities today. We'll see what happens. Uh, where are we at? Um, the Dow is showing a gain right now of 34 points. We've got uh, S&P up one and a half. So it's a nothing burger at the moment. NASDAQ down 27. There's not much going on at the moment. Um, not a lot of talk about earnings this morning. Uh, a lot of talk about China, though. Oh, my. Um, we're down 62 cents on crude. We might go a bit lower here. Uh, there's an OPEC meeting kind of happening and or, or about to happen. There's a lot of speculation on what they're going to do uh, with production and so on. Word out of China today. Uh, just uh, read this a few minutes ago, talking about how... Um, Beijing International Airport, uh, there are two airports in Beijing, capital of China. Both have had half of their flights canceled today, just abruptly canceled. No in, no out, uh, especially out. And so all of a sudden, um, it looks like Beijing is heading in for a lockdown. Um, why would Beijing be going for a lockdown? Well, gee whiz, do you think maybe uh, their the virus situation is like out of control? Maybe that's it. What's with my uh, what's with my uh, thing there anyway? Oh, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm so vain. Um, yeah, China. Uh, what's up with the lockdown? It's the virus, of course. Um, we don't get any official, you know, real numbers out of China. I mean, you guys know that uh, if you watch this channel, you know how I feel about it. Uh, these goons don't tell us what they're really doing, what's really going on. Uh, they they like try to be diplomatic and they try to be all official, but it's all Nothing but good news coming out of China, and anything bad has to do with the West. So, uh, you know, welcome to the Russian propaganda. Those of you who don't know, and you weren't born in the 50s, if you're under 40, you have no clue what the world was like uh, for us. Um, uh, when I became an adult, a young adult in 75, 76, 77, uh, the world that... I grew up in in 75, 76. And, and again, you guys only see 1975 and 1976 when you watch Saturday Night Fever movies. You watch, uh, you know, old movies made in the 70s that are all romantic and are all nostalgic and disco music and stuff. What you guys don't get, um, and I understand why, because Hollywood is not going to give you this. You don't get the grim reality of what it was like in the 70s with respect to the fact that Europe was cut in half by basically an iron curtain and uh, everything east uh, of, uh, of East Germany and Poland was, uh, was in Soviet control. Everything west was the Western world and we were on edge with all the tanks lined up or you know, within 50 miles of the border of the Soviet Union and all of their satellite countries. World War III was uh, a mere second away from breaking out i mean we were we were ready at any time to hear the radio alert that soviet tanks had broken through to uh, austria or were coming into uh, west germany or coming into whatever um you guys just don't you you don't know this and and you can't understand it I, how can you understand how, how can you truly understand how on edge our parents were, our grandparents were, our aunts and uncles, our cousins. Those of us with the heritage of uh, European heritage, you, you, you were not exposed to the terror, to the complete, absolute and utter terror of one moment everything is normal and one moment it's not. Because these folks, many of them got through the Second World War and the, uh, the Cold War was not a fun thing. The so-called spy movies that you see from time to time, they, they're, they're thrilling and they're action-packed and all that. They're all glorified up for Hollywood so that you'll buy popcorn and watch it. Uh, the reality was it was a grind and it was bad news. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, I used to remember uh, watching Walter Cronkite, you know, read the news every night. And uh, no, a new story would come out. A story would come out from uh, West Germany or East Germany or Russia talking about uh, whatever event and uh, the the news, uh, you know, they would quote the TASS news agency, which is the Russian sponsored news agency. You'd hear their version of a story and then you'd hear the, the Times of London, you know, or the Berlin papers or Frankfurt papers or French papers. 
you hear their version and it's not the same story i mean it's just like it's day and night and i'm thinking well that's what it's like today except today it's in these it's inside the united states you got got right-wing media you got left-wing media and neither are the same well this used to be the norm uh, in uh, out of europe this used to be the way it was between the soviets and the and the west um i remember in uh gosh i think it was 87 or 88 this is just before the berlin wall came down a few years and by the way in 1988 we didn't know that the berlin wall was going to drop in 89 and that by 1990 east and west germany were going to become one country again there was no inkling no thought no pre premonition no predictions nothing it, it, it had been two separate states since the second world war and it was going to remain that way for as long as we could ever imagine because there was just no way we could imagine the two germanys coming together into one anyway back in 87 88 i remember there was a jet uh, a passenger jet a 747 jet flying from i want to say the usa it may be san francisco la i can't remember exactly where it left from and it was headed to if i recall it was headed to tokyo um or hong kong one or the other and it got shot down um by soviet uh military planes um near uh, near um, russian airspace north korea south korea that whole area now there were airline um uh uh, right of ways negotiated and they're always even to this day there are airline right of ways that are pre-negotiated between all countries and so their pilots <laughs> with their airlines can file flight plans plans and radar watches every plane all the time no matter what country is is, a, is around so if you're flying anywhere near north korea they're watching every airplane up there um and they know what planes are allowed to be in their airspace and not and they pay a fee to the North Korean government to do it. And, and, and the same with China and Canada and the U.S. and on and on and on. It goes. So this is a boring topic. But nonetheless, back in 87, 88, a, a 747 airplane was shot down. And it was uh, 250 people. Um, there were a couple of U.S. senators on board this thing, uh, some Congress people. There were a lot of Americans, a lot of Asians, obviously Asian Americans. And the plane got shot down. And the world was shocked. I mean, the, sh the world was like, what the hell's going on? Why would, a, why would a 747 aircraft be shot out of the sky? And I think it was a Korean plane. It might have been going to Seoul, South Korea. I, I could, I, I, might, I might be, uh, yeah, it might, well, might have well been a South Korean, um, like a Korean Air Airlines plane, like Air Korea, uh, at that time. And it got shot down. And uh, uh, the Soviet uh, press came out with their story of what happened. And then, you know, the Western world came up with their story. And uh, the Soviet Union said it was a spy plane. <laughs> the plane was clearly filled with spies, uh, people with cameras sh taking pictures out of the airplane. And it was clearly a spy aircraft, uh, uh, breaking every convention known to man with regard to flying rules. And uh, the plane had been given warnings and it didn't it didn't obey. And, and so uh, they, they took whatever action they felt necessary. And, uh, the fighter pilots decided the the action necessary was to shoot the plane out of the sky with 250 people on board and bring it down and uh, no survivors into the water it went and it took a long time for a recovery uh, until the black box was recovered and you know a lot of information was gathered up and of course the the uh, the uh, north korean authorities and and others were saying oh you can't touch that that's in our territory you can't have that that's uh, uh, that is those that's a crime scene and we're going to prosecute the airline and i mean oh it was just a complete you know crap show in the west we're like this is bunk uh you don't shoot airplanes out of the sky especially unarmed civilian aircraft you escort them to a military airport if you want to you know take them out you don't have to shoot them out of the sky well the russians really paid diplomatically for that one they really paid the price because they were so on the wrong side of the story. <laughs> it was the whole world was just condemning the Russians. But it didn't end the Soviet Union. It didn't end the Communist Party. It didn't end, uh, you know, uh, North Korea's involvement or anything like that. It was just another totally different interpretation of what's happening and what, what was going on. So when I tell you about the fact that half of all flights from Beijing, the capital of China, have been canceled today without notice, without any public commentary 
uh, you got to read between whatever lines you can read between. I mean, there's got to be lines somewhere that you can read between here. And the way I read it is a country like China that wants to show the world how progressive they are and how dominant they're going to be and how, you know, how powerful they are and how great they are. Uh, cutting off half of all their flights out of their out of their capital city. That's like Washington, D.C., cutting off half the flights out of Washington internationally without notice. Are you are you kidding me? Uh, can you imagine Heathrow uh, having just half of its flights canceled today and no one talking about it? Uh, what? Frankfurt, Paris, uh, you name the city, uh, Tokyo, uh, unthinkable, uh, unimaginable. But in China, um, no one to answer to the, there's no one to talk to about it. No official statement. Uh, in other words, you have to figure it out yourself. And uh, well, this guy, uh, I figured, I'm figured i figuring it out. I'm figuring that COVID is out of control in Beijing. And uh, it is so out of control that they're desperate, and I mean desperate, to stop it. And uh, they will think of nothing to, to uh, uh, you know, eradicate the virus in any way they can. And the, and the one way to eradicate the virus, the movement, is to stop the movement of people and just lock them in place. And didn't we not hear yesterday, was it a Shanghai, Disneyland, Shanghai? Uh, the, uh, the park was suddenly closed. No one in, no one out. Everyone in stays in. No one gets in um, from the outside. And the only way you could get out of the park was to be tested inside the park with a negative result. You were escorted out of the park. And I don't know how many thousands of people were stuck there. And I don't know how long they're stuck there for. No announcement, no news, no details. Zip. Uh, can you imagine if uh, Disneyland in Los Angeles uh, just shut their gates at uh, 2 in the afternoon? Everyone in the gate, in, everyone in the park can't leave and no one outside can get in with no explanation. <laughs> Did you imagine the, what would happen? I mean the world media would descend on Disneyland going, what the hell's going on? Uh, yeah, helicopters will be flying overhead with the media, wondering what's going on. People will be on their phones talking to grandma at home. We can't get out. I mean, God, God, Lord. Can you imagine that in Florida, Disney World? All five properties shut down. No one gets in, no one gets out. What? Uh, yeah, well, that's how China operates. This is, this, is, uh, this is the 1950s Soviet playbook. It's It's the we we do what we want when we want we don't have to answer to anyone about anything and if you dare protest it uh, you're arrested in china you dare protest in china you're arrested so yeah no one dare say anything because <laughs> you're going to jail and who knows for how long secret trials held you're guilty see in 15 years i don't know i'm going to a re-education center i have no idea Anyway, that's what's happening in China today. So, uh, way to go, China. You're, you're doing just what you always do. You arrest foreigners for no reason. You try to intimidate the West, and uh, you keep coming off like you guys are a great uh, progressive country, and you're one of the world-leading places. You're a bunch of scumbags over there, a bunch of crooks, and uh, uh, there's no accountability to the outside world because China doesn't have to have accountability to the outside world because China believes they're number one. There you go. Uh, everybody happy now? Yay, we're happy. Uh, that's where a bunch of your stuff comes from. Uh, you know, I was at the uh, uh, I was at the Walmart Superstore the other day here in good old Palm Desert, and uh, I was looking for something very mundane. It was it was really this is this is kind of a boring story, but it's not. Um, I was looking for some peaches. I wanted peaches, canned peaches. Just looking for some canned peaches, and we're talking pretty boring stuff here. I went to the canned peaches department of uh, Walmart and I found the uh, the uh, I think I found a couple of brand name uh, suppliers and I found the Walmart house brand that they have the generic you know and I found canned peaches in tin cans and I found peaches in glass kind of containers or plastic type containers and it's really fascinating when you read the label on these things because uh, some of these cans, the peaches are in what they call heavy syrup. You remember that as a kid? You used to get some canned peaches and the syrup was like as thick as molasses. And then you see other cans where it says um, peaches in the fruit juice. What the hell does that mean? Fruit juice. Well, it's water and sugar uh, with some peach residue in there. I don't know. I have no idea what that means. It's a watery thing, like it's water. And um, um, 
I read the label. Where are these peaches from? Where, where are they grown? I want to know where these peaches come from. And the glass jar down at the bottom um, of the display, uh, China. Peaches come from China. Put it back. Uh, grabbed the uh, plastic container, looked at that from China, put it back. Um, started reading the labels on the cans and uh, half the half the brands, Chinese peaches, all from China, put it back. And uh, I, bought a, I bought a couple of cans uh, where the peaches from the USA and uh, they cost me 30 cents a can more. I paid more and I left the Chinese peaches behind because uh, that's my little way of protesting, you know, the unjust uh, arrest of innocent uh, Canadians in China and other things. And I urge you to pass it on. Um, read the label. Anything from China, leave it behind. Don't bother buying it. Uh, say thanks, but no thanks. So I'll buy somewhere else. Um, that's just me. I, I'm just you know. I'm just an old guy, you know, with millions of viewers every day watching every word I say. <laughs> I don't know what it, whatever it is. It is. Um, it's just my just my way of protesting. Uh, did you see the news on Tesla today? Uh, overnight, I guess uh, Elon Musk was uh, tweeting overnight about uh, uh, about Tesla, and and there was a story about um, uh, something about how he commented on that uh, one hundred thousand Teslas being ordered by Hertz Rent a Car. Uh, if you, by the way, have you seen the ads on the internet uh, with Tom Brady? Um, They've got Tom Brady ads promoting te Hertz, Hertz and promoting Teslas by not using the word Tesla. Quite interesting how they're doing that. Anyway, um, Elon Musk uh, just kind of happened to casually mention in his uh, overnight tweet that uh, uh, Hertz hadn't signed the contract yet. <laughs> so they want 100,000 Teslas. <coughs> Tesla hasn't got a contract with Hertz for 100,000 Teslas. We're, we're talking to him, but we don't we don't have a signed contract. And then another tweet was talking about. Um, I guess somebody asked Elon Musk, "Well, are, is Hertz getting a hundred thousand Teslas at a super discounted price because of the volume buy? Are they getting a real deal on on Model Threes and Model Ys to supply the fleet?" His answer was, "No, no, they're not getting a deal. There's no deal. There's no discount. We can't keep up with our retail clients like." We, you know, I can't make, you know, without him saying it, I can't make one for Bruce uh, without him having to wait months and months and months to get it. Why would I make a deal with Hertz to sell him 100,000 units when I can't even get Bruce the one he wants in any in any real time frame? So thank you, Elon, for looking out for me. Um, but I found that interesting. The stock's down 40 bucks in the pre-market. <laughs> Tesla stock. Um, <coughs> of course, uh, <coughs> Tesla's, Tesla stock in, what, the last... Three months have gone from what six seven hundred a share to twelve hundred a share. Uh, they've had a bit of a run here. Uh, maybe they've gone a bit too far. Do you think? Maybe they've gone a bit too much. Maybe uh, there could be a bit of a correction here, um, and the, the market's looking for any excuse, any excuse to take a correction. Maybe this is the excuse they're going to take. I don't know. Anyway, cheers to all of you from around the world. Bruce here in Palm Desert, California. Wishing you nothing but the best, this best of success in the markets. I hope you all get rich today. Or let's say you get richer today. You had a good day yesterday, I think. Many of you had a good day yesterday. Hopefully, it'll continue today. What is going on? Um, watching, uh, as always, I'm watching um, uh, GameStop closely. 198.50 right now in the pre market, down a buck 59. Some of you wrote options yesterday. You rolled over options, and some of you were able to do rollovers uh, when the stock was over $200 a share, even in the 205 to 208 neighborhood, which I say kudos, well done. I think yesterday's high was 208.57, according to my market watch thing here. Um, and so a lot of you had an opportunity to do rollovers where you could buy back your 175s, 180s, 185s, 190 contracts, turn around and then write two 205s or 210 contracts, uh, for a few weeks out, a month out, two months out, whatever, it you know, whatever, whichever one you want to write. Uh, the stock is off just a little bit. Uh, right now, 199.35, as I'm talking about, it's coming back up a bit, but it's off just a tad. And we'll see how it opens in the morning. If it wants to open this morning in the real market, in that 194, 196 neighborhood, there may be possibly, no guarantees, but it's possible 
that some of you may have a uh, buyback opportunity. You might be able to scoop back some of your uh, contracts that you wrote at the high end yesterday, I hope, cross your fingers. Uh, some of you may have written 205s and 210s for a real nice price. And at, you know, 195 96 here, if it comes to that level, uh, that's a $10, $12 drop from the high yesterday. Uh, some of you might have yourselves a real nice little uh, profit situation on a quick flip. Just mentioning it. Um, those of you who did not roll over yesterday, because you're kind of curious to see if the stock's got some more upside to it, and that's a good strategy too. Uh, you're sitting on 180s or 185s. Uh, you're wondering, hmm, should I buy my 180.85s back right now? Because if, if they expire this Friday, the 180s are, are right now uh, sitting on a $19, $20 book value approximately. Um, not quite, but close to a $20 book value. I could probably buy them back at $21.22 because they die Friday. They won't have much premium left on them. 85s would be going for about $15 right now, $16. Uh, if the stock backs off five bucks to 195, say, then the 180s would be down to 15, 16 dollars roughly, and the 185s would be about 10, 11. And for a lot of you, uh, that 10, 11 price might be a break even, where you wrote the contract a few weeks ago or whatever uh, at that kind of a premium. Um, and again, the opportunity is to either just get out from underneath the obligation of, of, of offering your stock to sit around and see if the stock comes, comes back up to 200 and write a new contract, um, where others of you might do a rollover. I would suggest, though, that if the shares back off, if they only back off a couple of bucks, uh, you don't need to do much of anything. Um, I would uh, I would uh, do, uh, keep an eye on it during the morning and see if the shares rebound back into this 200, 205 range. Are they going to go higher from here? Is there a movement afoot for the shares to improve to a higher level? They did trade yesterday what, 5 million shares? Um, could they trade that again today and go into the 210 20 range? Then you would look at doing a buyback of your 180 85s and doing a rollover into 220 25 contracts. Yes. Those of you who did rollovers yesterday where you wrote 200s, 205s, and 210s, the shares back off, like I say, the 195, 198 range, they may or may not go down enough to make it worth your while to buy your contracts back. And then if you do notice that the shares do go higher, later today like i said to 215 or 220 if they want to take that kind of a shot let it happen and uh, do another rollover um, just keep doing rollovers and uh, you know stay ahead of the market and uh, grab a fat premium going forward and you'll get to the point where the stock will do a plateau and it will begin to uh you know tire out a bit because it was 165.70 just a couple weeks ago Gets into the 220 range, that might be all she wrote. And um, you may find that you wrote, wrote a 225 for April, let's say, or January, or whatever it is. And um, a month from now, the stock is uh, 185, 195, somewhere in that range. And your, your 225 call is so far out of the money and it's depreciating. Time is you know le leaking away on it. And uh, the first 50% just comes right back at you. And, and the key to a rollover, of course, is if you buy, if you write a call, the first one, at say $10, and then you buy it back at 15 and write a new call for 20, and then you buy it back at 25 or 28, and you write a new one for 35 or 40. That one, that last one you wrote, you wanna write at the highest price of all of them. And if the market then backs off just 5% or 10% in price, those $40 contracts can go down to $15, $20 awfully fast. And therein lies the secret to your financial success because now you're buying back a call option at say $17 that you wrote at 40. And you're gonna turn around and write a brand new call option at 20 or 22 that expires a closer to time. So you might buy back in April and now write a February contract. And you're buying back in April 225 or 230 contract and you're now writing a, a February 210, for example, uh, because you're, you're staying closer to the market. The market backs off some more, you're buying the the uh, February contract back at a lower price and now writing a maybe a January contract or a December contract. And you're playing the rollover game in reverse because the stock is going the other direction. And so you're taking money off the table, lowering your exercise price, but being within, you know, ahead of the market and, and shortening the time frame that you're committing the option for.
and of course the the uh, the December option will de depreciate a lot faster than the February option because it has fewer days to live and every day it loses is a bigger percentage of time that the April contract loses obviously if we have a contract with 100 days to go versus a contract with 30 days to go and both contracts lose one day a day the 30-day contract is losing 3.3 percent of its value time-wise every day the 100-day contract is only losing one percent of its time value every day so if you are able to roll back contracts where you're buying back aprils and writing februarys and then buying februarys back and writing januarys and buying januarys back and writing decembers each time lower exercise price higher yield to you more cash in your account each and every time um you're shortening the time frame as well and so you know that by the time you're down to writing decembers and this being november the second you're down to six weeks uh, of of total time uh, but in reality, you're only writing, you're only looking at 30 trading days because six weeks is five days a week of trading time. Six, that's 30 trading days. It might be 40 calendar days, but it's only 30 trading days. And each trading day takes a chunk of that contract's value away, giving it to you, the writer. This is why we have so much fun writing contracts. Those of you who don't know how this works or you're confused by what I'm talking about, you're wondering, is this, is this real? You got to watch my lessons to see how this works. Um, uh, go to my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca, and head for the tab where it says lessons. There are 10 lessons there, all about how to write options, how, how options work, the, the psychology of it and all this. Uh, you'll, you'll find that the more you watch these lessons, the more it becomes familiar to you because you're going to notice, geez, these, these lessons are two hours long, and Bruce and Jen are talking to each other, and there's people you know, participating in this class, and they're asking the kind of questions that I'm asking. Uh, it's exactly what you want to hear and he's talking about on the classes i talk about writing options on the stocks i'm talking to you about here every day we're talking about options on gamestop on um, on sofi ibm apple uh, uh, matterport all, all these all these specs um, we go through a lot of examples a lot of hypotheticals and we talk about the stocks that you and I follow all the time. So you don't have to worry about, oh gosh, I bought this lesson from him and all he's doing is talking about currency options. I don't care about currency options. I don't wanna know about that. No, you're not gonna get that. I'm not gonna bring you into a lesson and then talk to you about stuff you're not gonna trade. I'm gonna to talk to you about options that you are gonna look at trading. And so all you have to keep in mind is if I'm talking about GameStop at 180 a share or 220 a share or whatever price per share, it was likely that's where the stock was at the time I did the class. But the reality is it's all relative. So where the stock is now and where the stock was then, it's the same strategy again and again and again. You just have to learn how it works, how the structure works, and you have to understand the minutia. You have to understand the subtlety of how contracts depreciate and fall apart into dust as they run out of time and this is where you can take advantage of that uh, price depreciation and keep that money in your pocket you are the casino i'm turning you into a casino i'm trying to turn you into the bellagio uh in your own way right out of your own living room where you have the slot machine you have the building you got the firework you got the waterworks you got the uh, the uh, fountains uh, <clears throat> and you're the one making the rules as to how people can play the slot machine that you have with regards to the stock you own. And this is where a lot of my viewers are beginning to make a, a nice little buck here on these markets. It doesn't matter if the market goes up. It doesn't matter if the market goes down. It doesn't matter if the market goes sideways. It doesn't matter. You can make money on the option strategy in any market that the market has. It, it matters not. And just like casinos, there are sometimes nights where there are winners on the casino floor. There are nights where there are no winners on the casino floor. Uh, casinos make money no matter what. And so uh, you're going to become a casino owner if you play it right. So there you go. There, there's my little spiel for you to keep that in mind. All right. We're a half an hour away from the opening. Um, the Dow is up 35 points. Uh, S&P is up two and a half. NASDAQ down 25. It's a nothing burger this morning. Not a lot going on. Um, 
Everyone is waiting for in Washington. They're wondering if the Democrats are going to pass their spending bills. Eventually they will. Um, they're watching Glasgow to see what the whole climate thing's about. Um, a lot of talk, like no action. Um, China isn't there. Russia isn't there. Nothing's going to happen. Uh, so it's a photo op for uh, for some of the world leaders. That's it. It's Angela Merkel's last dance. It's her last official thing as a German chancellor. And she retires into the into the pasture land. Um, and so I don't expect a lot out of there, uh, and neither should you. Um, yeah, we're waiting to see what's going on. As far as uh, the, the, there's this talk here, uh, some of you are talking to each other about the Fed. The Fed is going to meet today. Oh, the Federal Reserve. Oh, what are they going to say? This could make everything happen. It's a nothing burger, okay? The Federal Reserve has no options. Um yeah, theoretically, they could make rates go up, and theoretically, they can talk about higher interest rates, and they could they could set the tone for it, but they have no power. And I'll tell you why they have no power. The bottom line is the U.S. economy is going to do well or not well based on the American people wanting to spend money or not. It's that simple. It's that simple. And regulators try to influence people to do certain things, but they can't make you do certain things. So if you feel that you want to refinance your house because the rate is right, you'll do it, or the real estate market is right. But if you feel that the market isn't right to refinance, or it's not the right time to buy a new house, or it's not the time to sell your old house because you can't get what you want for it to buy a new house because there's not enough, you know, you just don't want to make the move. No regulator can make you do this. Um, they can try to influence you by talking rates up or talking rates down. But at the end of the day, it's the money in your bank account that calls the shots. And right now, Americans are sitting on $19 trillion of cash in their savings accounts and hoarding it. Um, you may not feel you're doing that, <laughs> some of you. Some of you watch me go, Bruce, I'm not hoarding my money. I'm spending all I got, and I'm borrowing, and I'm going nuts. I get it. I hear you, but you're the minority. Um, there are a, a lot of Americans out there who are sitting on a ton of money, and they're afraid to spend it because they don't like something. They don't like many things, one thing, whatever it is, and they're holding up. Or they want to spend money. They really do. But what they want to spend money on, they can't right now. There are a lot of people around the world, not just Americans, but globally, who would like to go traveling. They would like to go see relatives and family. They would like to go to uh, Niagara Falls. They want to go to Paris. They want to go to uh, Toronto, Ontario. They want to see New York City, whatever they want to do. And they're not traveling. They're either afraid to travel. They don't believe, or they don't like the restrictions uh, they don't think it's safe, whatever the reason, and there are a lot of reasons. There isn't one. There are many. Traveling is not happening at the le level it has been. Now, there are changes coming in travel right now. There are big changes coming. The United States is, a, is in the middle of changing its rules for Americans to be able to travel uh, across international borders and for visitors to come into the United States. This is all happening this month. This month, November, is a big month big for changes, positive, encouraging changes to up the level of travel internationally in and out of the United States. So that, that's a good sign. That will loosen up some purse strings. Um, that will likely get more airline employees working. It will definitely get more um, um, hotel people working, servers and restaurants and, and staff and restaurants more working. The service business will be picking up. The car rental agencies will be busier. The Expedias of the world and Travelocities of the world, they'll be busier. Cruise lines could be busier. So everything in the right direction there seems to be happening, uh, but it can quickly turn around if the variants are you know bad. If we get the COVID thing going out of control, all bets are off. But at the moment, Things are, are, are sounding and looking better. So that could be better for the economy as a whole, which is a good thing for the stock market. And isn't that what you care about? The stock market. The indices of the stock markets, to repeat myself from months ago, 
the Dow Jones Industrial Index and the S&P and the NASDAQ are where they are now because this is where people, investors, feel the economy will be six months to a year from now. These markets are forward thinkers. These are harbingers of things to come. These are warnings, either good warnings or bad warnings. And if the Dow Industrials are hitting new average highs or is within a point or so, one percentage point of all-time record highs, which the Dow is, the S&P is, and NASDAQ is, that is telling you or should be telling you that the economy six months to a year from now will be doing just fine. That is how markets are. That's how stocks are. If people feel that a company is going to have a tough time of it going forward uh, over the next quarter, two quarters, three quarters, whatever, they sell the shares now. They don't sell the shares when the tough times come. They sell the shares now because they want out now. They don't want to be a shareholder six months from now. They want to be out. That's how markets work. That's how indexes work. And so at the moment, we're showing the three big indexes at near record highs, telling all of us that the economy looks pretty darn good six months to a year from now. I'm telling you that if the United States Congress, Senate, and President can put through the infrastructure bill and the social spending bill, they can ram that through and get it out of there, get it done, put it into the, into the works. That will add to your market. It'll make your market even better because the outside world not the inside, not the United States. I'm not talking about the Americans. I'm not talking about you Americans out there. I'm talking about those of us outside of America who watch you guys. We on the outside are understanding that, holy moly, if the Americans actually pass a multi-trillion dollar stimulus program domestically, this will be really good for the American economy. Not only this minute, but this next year, and this next four years, and this next eight years, and this next 10 years, because this is a 10 year, it's a 10 year stimulus bill. It's not a one year stimulus bill, it's a 10 year stimulus bill. So if it's 2 billion bucks in total, 2 trillion, it's 200 billion a year for 10 years. This is a drip, drip, drip stimulus deal for a decade. Really good stuff for kids in high school who are now 15 years old, 16 years old, they'll be 26 by the time the final dollars are spent on this Made in America promotion plan. They will likely benefit from it as summer workers, summer students, and then their first jobs might well be because of this program. It could well be. Those who are 30 now are going to be 40 by the time it's done. They will have a decade of economic power behind them to build up savings, get a down payment together for a house, knock off student loans, wh whatever it takes. This is huge. But we on the outside see it from an economic point of view, economics. Inside the US, it is a political you know, nightmare. Uh, but on the outside, we're looking at it going, wow, the Dow could go a lot higher for years. It's not like a three month run and then the Dow will drop off, no. The Dow will benefit, the S&P the, and uh, the NASDAQ markets will benefit for years and years and years with this continued investment into the heart of America. Transportation, communication, healthcare, bridge construction, airport reconstruction. I mean, this is all huge. This is massive. A, a good old bridge, as boring as it sounds, a good old bridge across a river in top condition uh, can make a local government in that region a lot of money uh, because a bridge works 24 hours a day, seven days a week, allowing goods and services and people to traverse it. And uh, that's just good. That's good, efficient business. And an efficient business is good business. And uh, any businessman will tell you that. Any uh, university professor will tell you, oh, yeah, that's what you want. Have you ever, did you ever watch the movie The Big Short? Uh, was it, no, it wasn't that. It was Margin Call. Uh, you remember the movie Margin Call? There's a great scene in Margin Call. It's a tiny little scene between uh, Tucci. Is it Stanley Tucci, the actor, 
and uh, the uh, the top uh, bond trader or equity trader with the firm, they were sent to find him and get him back to the office. And the Stan uh, Stanley Tucci's character didn't want to go back to the office. He had been laid off and he was PO'd at him. And uh, the Tucci character was telling this young man uh, about the fact that uh, before he became sort of a, um, a compliance officer of this company, he was a, he's a finance man. He uh, had worked for a uh, county that had built a bridge. And he described this bridge over a span of a river or so. And it, it, it connected one county to another county. Uh, might have been over state lines. I'm not exactly sure, but certainly over county lines. And he explained to the young guy that prior to the bridge being built, um, you had to go through roadways and detours and to get to where you're going. But once the bridge was built, it cut the commute time from one side of the uh, county to the other by you know 20 minutes per person per vehicle and he calculated it out uh for him he said you know how much this saves um uh the county and he, he explained how many minutes were being saved by people in that region because this bridge went up and he explained it over like um, an hour, a day, a week, a month, a year, and the lifetime of the bridge. And how many billions, billions of years of time were being saved by mankind because of this bridge. And how many millions and hundreds of millions and billions of dollars this meant to the productivity of that area. And the young guy, he was stunned. He was just never thought, he'd never thought of it. And the guy went, well, the next time you cross any bridge, think about that. Like it's infrastructure, boring old bridges, boring, boring old bridges. Quite, quite amazing thing. There you go. A um, couple of things. Um, anyone that uses the term, let's go, Brandon, I'm going to put you on a 10 minute timeout. And if you do it again, you're off the channel. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm getting kind of tired of this childish behavior here. Uh, it's a warning. It's a warning shot. Um, from now on, anyone who does it, you're gone. Okay. Uh, don't need it. Um, kind of want it to be more uh, a grown up around here in some ways. I love having fun with you guys. I really do. But certain stuff is just not needed. And, uh, you know, we have to make changes. Uh, have to kind of keep the channel at a certain level. Okay. So uh, heads up. If you want to do it, you're out of here and uh don't need you so you know what can i tell you thank you all of you who are uh, members of this channel uh thank you who are uh, those of you who have become subscribers to this channel i love you guys uh, the members of the backbone of this channel and i love you for this uh, thank you for keeping us on the air jennifer and i are so grateful we love you um looking forward to a good day hopefully we're gonna have a real good market here um we'll see how things go rocket lab i show up a penny right now nothing much going on i got the dow up 38 i got SP up two maybe three points not a lot going on um gamestop 199.65 down 44 cents um and uh yeah um we're gonna see how the market reacts today uh, there's like i said there's a lot of talk about the fed and it's going to dominate everything it's not going to dominate it's only going to dominate if it's a slow news day if the talking heads on CNBC and Fox and everyone else have nothing else to talk about, they'll bring up the Fed speak because they'll, they'll want to say something because they got to fill their air with whatever. Um, and of course, the politicos will fill it up whatever way they want. And that's just the way it is. So what, what can I say? Um, anyway, it is what it is. And, um, you know, there you have it. OK. Um, anyway, there you go. Um, you know. But any way you want to play the game, uh, we're all we're all good. Okay. Anyway, there it is. Uh, thank you for being here today, and uh, appreciate that you're here. Um, I'm glad that you could join us. Uh, glad you could uh, you could be with me today, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll make a bunch of money in this market. Uh, that would be just terrific, uh, really terrific if you could make a ton of money. I would love that. Uh, thank you all uh, for coming through. Let's go to members only on the chat. Because, again, the members of this channel are uh, the backbone of this channel. And I thank you. Please consider becoming a member today and join the gang here. Uh, we'd love to have you come in here and join the party. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's uh, build this uh, channel together. This is fabulous. Uh, 
very excited about how this channel is going and uh, grateful to all of you who help uh, Jen and I keep it on the air. Uh, we, uh, we very much appreciate it. Thank you all so, so much. Um, there you go. Uh, what else? Not much else. Uh, everything else is good. Um, you know, what can I say? Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Anyway, there you go. Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do with uh, making a couple of bucks. That's all we're trying to do. Just trying to get richer. Nothing, nothing personal. We're just trying to get richer. Uh, okay. <clears throat> What else is going on here? Yeah, Rocket Lab up four cents, IBM down twenty seven cents. I think that Kendrall thing is happening. Uh, the Kendrall listing um, is it today or tomorrow? It's it's really soon, and um, kind of curious to see how that will affect the IBM stock. I heard that because they're bringing Kendrall out, um, IBM is not going to be dropped from the Dow thirty uh, it, it, because uh, I think a fifth of the company, twenty percent of IBM, is being carved out to Kendrall. And even with 80% of the company still intact, it will stay part of the S the Dow Jones 30. I guess for now, anyway. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's you know, time will tell. Apparently, the dividend is intact. No problems with the dividend. All is all is well. All right. SoFi Technologies. I'm showing a 22.58. I'm uh, showing down four cents. Nothing to worry about there. And uh, let's see here. I've got. Um, uh, Matterport at uh, 24.32, oh, wait, wait, 14 minutes to go, 24.50 now, down 23 cents, no big deal there, we had a really good day yesterday, didn't we? Uh, 23 and me is at uh, 11.69, down 3 cents, uh, just had a bit of a pop here, it looks like, um, took a little shot here just a moment or two ago, very good, um, okay, uh, hey Uncle Bruce, uh, my original 180 covered call I wrote last week has now rolled over twice to the 195 for December I sold yesterday for 24.95. Yes. Hopefully we get a dip today and I can close it out. Oh man, Rob, that'd be great. Um, I love this. I, I love how you're doing this. I support you 100%. This is exactly what you should be doing. Uh, you're you're right on top of this market uh, as a, as a very you know active watcher of what's going on. You are the perfect candidate to work this strategy. Uh, I love this. Um, where are we at right now? 199.65. I'm. I think is where we're at. I'm just trying to get an update here. Yeah, 199 right now. So, yeah. Look, if your if your stocks give up a little bit of ground here, uh, you're definitely uh, you're definitely on the right track. And, and I would love to see this contract just crap out. But <laughs> for you, for you, uh, that would be beautiful. Uh, look at that. Look at that uh, premium. 25 bucks. Uh, no, 195 man that is expensive for a, a december contract think about that jeez that's that's expensive so yes sir way to go rob i'm uh, i'm uh, really curious how this is going to work for you i like it okay <laughs> what's going on uh would this be a, a good time to take my profit on uh, on my december 17 gamestop calls uh, and then just wait for a price to come back down and get back in. If you're a call buyer on GameStop, uh, good, you know, more power to you. But I, I, I am not giving advice. Uh, I don't want to give advice to people who are buying and selling call options, being long call options on GameStop. I mean, no, 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 no. You want to be, you want to be short call options. My, my thinking. Anyway, that's just, just what can I say? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, new member, Paul Rodriguez. Hey, Paul, how you doing, buddy? Uh, if you're brand new, welcome. If you're a re recurring member, welcome back. Nice to have you. Good to see you. Delahoe, hey, thank you for this donation. Uh, Uncle Bruce, could you talk about your expectations regarding smart rent earnings and growth? Um, I don't have expectations as far as specific numbers. Um, I don't expect any numbers out of smart rent that would justify the stock trading exactly where it is. I would expect numbers to be growing, yes. Um, I'm expecting the company to be adding a lot of clients, yes. Um, is the company really on fire? Yes. Um, the shares are ahead of the earnings 
but that's not why we're buying the stock. That's not that's not the upside of the stock. The upside of the stock is the clientele numbers and the penetration of the market that they're going to get and how huge the market is. And what I'm looking at for you guys to profit on on this deal is the awareness of the market in as a whole to this company's upside potential. The fact that Amazon bought into the company, the fact that um, uh, that uh, uh, Goldman Sachs is calling it an $18 stock, those are beautiful things to add to the credibility of this thing, the street cred. This smart rent is so, it's got such great credibility. I love the future of this company, but the financials coming out next week or something like that, don't expect them to show the company trading at 10 times earnings or nothing like that. I don't even know if they're profitable yet. I really don't know if they're yet actually profitable. Their gross numbers are surging. Their gross revenues are really coming up, but they are spending everything they're bringing in to expand the company out. Just like Amazon did at the very beginning for their first 10, 15 years of existence, every dime came in, they spent it and more to grow it out, grow it out, grow it out, become the dominant player in their area. This is what Smart Rent is doing. They're going to become the dominant force in this business that they have, uh, that they're cornering up here with the smart home ownership uh, phenomenal. So that, that's my take on it at Delahode. Um, the stock will go higher because there just aren't enough shares available for the market as a whole to want to play. That is my personal guess. There will be enough shares to play with once it breaks 100 bucks a share, but not at these prices. So you got some upside. That's my thinking on it, okay? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else is going on here? Um, uh, Paul, hey, Uncle Bruce, finally joined, been with you for the last year, and honestly, since yesterday's hiccup, you really made, made me feel better at ease. Well, Paul, welcome. I, I don't know what I said, but if it was good, thank you. <laughs> glad, you're, glad you're here, man. Uh, I try to be consistent. I hope I hope I'm consistent. Uh, a B. Uh, hey Bruce, deep in the money calls on IBM. Is this good? I remember you were saying 150 and up to 200 maybe. We, we're we're in the realm of possibility. Is that still a thing? Sorry if I'm misremembering. Um, a B. I love IBM. I really do. I love IBM long term. I'm a positive thinker on it. Yes, you can buy deep in the money calls. Yeah, and long term calls yes you can also do the poor man covered call game with ibm you buy those in the money calls say for next spring and uh, next summer um pick up pick up a call or two or three and then write call options short-term call options against it just ahead of the market to bring in extra income i love this strategy for ibm i do um let's go um under 52 and share price i hear you there if we have a day like yesterday on the market i will feel on cloud nine hey i hear you there but that was one heck of a day. Let's get some movement on ATIP for me. Inspired today. Rob, I'm with you on that. Uh, well, I was using my GameStop calls as leverage um, to sell um, PMCCs. Um, uh, so my December calls are up more than I'm down on the CCs I sold. How do I manage my GameStop calls that I'm using for leverage? Um, okay, I'm not, I'm not, okay, a poor man cover call. So you're using GameStop calls as leverage to sell uh, 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 poor man covered calls. So my December calls are up more than I'm down on the covered calls I sold. <laughs> I used to do a rollover, do a rollover on your short-term calls. I think that's what we're talking about here, Happy Pappy. I, I think that's what we're getting to. I sure hope I got that figured out. Um, Paul Rodriguez, thumbs up from Goyote. Happy Pappy. I did watch your Poor man cover call lesson, but you didn't cover managing the longer position much. Well, you know, theory theoretically too, if your long position is up dramatically, which in the case of GameStop it could well be, you can do a rollover of that one too. I mean, you can do a rollover of a of a, a long term call. Now, the way you might have to do it is you buy a new long term call and sell the old one so that you've rolled over. But I'm not exactly sure how this exactly works within each brokerage firm's rules and regs on doing this you may need to do a quick like sell your call buy your calls back that you wrote short termers sell your long-term call buy another long-term call for less money therefore increasing your cash balance and then rewrite your short-term calls it's just trade 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 but if you can do it all with um 
without fees, great. Uh, Kim, thank you. Kim Frymiller, thank you for that donation on PayPal. You're awful kind. You are the gold medal holder right now. Thank you so much for that. So that might be the way to go. Look, if you if you bought a long-term call, let's say you bought a long-term call, it was, I don't know, 50 bucks, I'm just guessing. And now it's 80 bucks or 90 bucks or $110. It's worth a lot more money, right? That's good for you. Um, okay, so you, you um, um, uh, wrote short-term calls, poor man covered calls on GameStop. The stock's gone up, right? So... Did you do a rollover? If you did, fair enough. If you haven't, and you're now wondering, well, geez, you know, I'd like to kind of cash in on this long-term call I got here because I'm up like five grand on this thing, or I've got five of them or whatever. I'm way up on this thing. Well, you may want to unwind all your positions for like a minute, sell your call, rebuy the new call that you've already targeted to replace it with, and it might well be that you're buying long-term in the money calls that are higher up in value, lower cost to you. In effect, you might go from one or two or three to four or five or six of those calls. And then you turn around and write poor man covered calls, three, four, five or six now at a time at the price you wanna sell at with the market where it is and uh, continue forward. Again, it's to each his own. I can't, I can't get more specific than that because I don't know your situation and uh, we'd have to have a one-on-one -on -one to really get into it. There you go. Um, let's see. I, Bilba says, Rob, I hope you get that dip because I also needed to get out of my rollover uh, for Friday 185s. Um, YBM will break your heart, says DQ. Hey, Uncle Bruce, is so far short interest a good thing with the given price movements? Um, yeah, I think it is. If, 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 if it's becoming more and more clear to, uh, to observers out there that the higher SoFi is going, the larger the short position seems to be. I like this. I, I really like this. Uh, bring it on. Uh, let's lift that short position way up uh, because the Reddit crowd will go nuts. Uh, they'll go ballistic on what could be happening here. Beach Boy, hi, Uncle Bruce. After rolling into February 18, 200s for the 3660, should I enter a stink bit to buy these back for how long and how high? Thanks a bunch. What should I do? Well, um, you know, that's an interesting question because you, you've written 200s. Um, it's 36.60, which is, you know, all premium. Unbelievable. It's so high. Um, you know, the question is, what kind of correction are we going to get? Now, look, uh, we talk here about, we talk here all the time about how GameStop has historically moved $5, $10, $20 in one day, and no one even blinks an eye. It's just a normal thing around here. So in theory, just in theory, what if the stock dropped to 180 in an hour and a half from now? It, you know, it's been trading 195, 196, and then it goes to 190, 192, and then it drops to 180. Uh, and then it comes back to 188, uh, all in 15 minutes. We know what can do this. Stink bids are a good idea. Uh, putting in a buy order, a limit buy order, to buy back call options that you've written for a fat price at a really low price is a smart idea. If the brokerage firm allows you to do it for the day, do it. So, <clears throat> all right, here you go. You sold these for thirty six sixty. dollars uh, If you could buy them back today for $15.50, just, I'm picking a number here, $20 less than what you sold them for. Would you be happy with that? Because the theory is if you buy them back for that stink price, that low of price, and the stock reacts from 180 back to 192, 20 minutes later, these $15 calls could go back to 27, 28 bucks with the move of the stock. Um, you could rewrite them all over again, uh, theoretically, uh, or stay out of them and write new contracts uh, to now that you've bought these back. You could write contracts now that are uh, much shorter in time and uh, with a different exercise price. So yeah, there's there's nothing preventing you, whether you uh, you have an app to put in a, a, a limit buy order on any call contract you've ever written at a super stink bid price for the day only, uh, just in case the market has a lousy hour. Because what we don't know, and you never know about the markets is, you never know if something happens in Tehran or Tokyo or 
Delhi or London or Paris or wherever that, you know, is not in our sight lines, something stupid happens, uh, something terrorist happens, and the markets have a 500 point drop in 20 minutes for, you know, in sympathy with whatever. You could have a scenario where pressure comes in on a stock because there's just a stampede for the exits for 15 minutes, and you might get lucky and get hit with a buy order, a sell order on your buy, and you scoop back some calls that you never thought you'd get at this price today, and you're sitting back going, hey, you just gave me 20 bucks a contract out of the thin blue air uh, for no reason. I say thank you because in a couple of days from now, the market could be right back where it is now. The contract could be right back to $36 a piece, and you're writing them all over again. Having made 20 bucks a contract in the meantime, add that up, folks. If you've got one contract, that's two grand in your pocket. 10 contracts, that's 20 grand in your pocket. 100 contracts, yeah, that's getting up there. I mean, this this is what I'm talking about. Uh, putting in stink bids is an excellent idea. Stocks drop a lot faster than they go up. It's historically the norm. You Most of you know this. And so you want to take advantage of a panic drop in case there is one. I don't know if there's going to be one, and you haven't got time. If there's a panic drop in the market and it drops in five minutes and you're asleep at the switch, you're you're in the bathroom doing some business, you're out taking your dog for a walk, you're taking the garbage out to the curb, you're on the phone to a friend, you don't know. You have no idea that there's a panic drop going on until five minutes after it happened. You missed it, buddy. It came and it went and it let it. The train came through the station and you weren't at the station. With a bid, uh, a stink bid in there, yeah, definitely a good thing to do. We are open now. Uh, trading uh, on the way here. We're up and running. Let's see what the markets are doing here for us. How are they going to react today? We had one heck of a day yesterday. Let's see how the markets want to react day two of this week. Thank you all so much for being here. Great to see you. And uh, let's see what's going on. Thank you all. Um, get in here and uh, take a look at what we've got going on. Okay, fabulous. We got the Dow up 27, S&P up three point, uh, up 4.2 points, and um, I've got the uh, Nasdaq down nine. I've got oil down 61. I'm showing Rocket Lab at 1429, 1426. Jumping around here, I don't have. Uh, any changes yet? We're just waiting for the first trades to go through. So far, I'm showing at uh, a low of 2180, uh, now at 2184, down 79 on 1.7 million. Again, I'm not going to be surprised if we see a dip to start the morning. It's a question at the first half hour. Where are we really going to be at with this market? GameStop 197.27, 282 dip uh, to start. We'll see if there's any more to that. Uh, volume at 197.20 now of uh, 114,000. Nothing great. Matterport 23.12 down a dollar 60. Uh, low of 23.02 on 463,000. We'll watch for that. Some of you written contracts on Matterport. Did some of you write 25s yesterday when the stock was uh, higher? Did some of you get 20? Are these contracts low enough to attract you back in? Just saying. Uh, keep an eye. Uh, same with SoFi. Did you guys write 25s, 24s? Um, you know, that goes any lower. Maybe there's an opportunity. I don't know. You buy them back and rewrite them later. Just saying. Uh, the beauty of the options market. Rocket Lab now 14.19 down seven cents on 75,000 shares. SoFi 21.90. Um, a little better, 10 cents better than the low, down 72. GameStop 197.33 down 276. Matterport 23.19 down a buck 54. ME down only 19 cents. Spire down a penny. ATIP um, unchanged. Um, Smart Rent is up a nickel to 1380. Sextera unchanged, it looks like. AMC up 65 cents to 37.72. Robinhood down 46 cents. Vanic Vectors up 121. Home Depot up 46 cents. IBM up 60. Three cents. The Dow up 25 points. Microsoft up a dollar 18. Apple up 26 cents. Tesla down 52 bucks. Bit Bath Beyond down 20. Blackberry down 19. Uh, Royal Caribbean 87.48 down 80 cents today. A uh, Goldman Sachs down 270. Not a lot of movement going on yet. Not a real lot. Rocket Lab is now up three. It's green. 
We're up three on Rocket Lab. SoFi down 99 to 21. Now down 85. Pardon me. SoFi down 85 to 2177. Rocket Lab now down six to 1420. GameStop 196.20 down 389 uh, on 142,000. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, now 196 on GameStop down four dollars. Uh, Rob, uh, you know, just keep your eye on it. If it drops enough, you buy them back. If it doesn't, you wait it out because they're going to deteriorate anyway. You're a winner either way. Um, Matterport, uh, 2318, the low of 2301. Uh, so it's a bit better than the low, but still down 160 or so. Half a million traded. ME down 29 cents. Spire down three. ATIP down a penny and a half. Smart rent up at half of an up five cents. Sorry. Sextera on change there's our opening salvo we got the dow up 15 s p up 3.4 nasdaq down nine oil down 79 cents uh there you go um okay and uh, markets pause as investors look ahead to fed decision that's what the headline is i don't believe it i think what's happening is we had such a good day yesterday people are pausing going are they going to keep going up and if so, who's going up and who's not going up? Because yesterday everything seemed to have gone. What was it? everything seemed to be going up yesterday? Is this going to happen today? They're using the Fed as an excuse because they need one. Sometimes you can't find one excuse, and so you try to find, you try to you know get one somewhere, try to make one up. It is what it is. GameStop one ninety seven right now down three thirty six one ninety six seventy three down three thirty six a low of one ninety five fifty one. Um, that's where we're at right now. Um, we're going to hear nothing from the Fed today or tomorrow. We're not going to hear a damn thing. So don't look for Fed announcements. There won't be any uh, from what I can tell right now. Uh, get ready to buy back some of those SoFi covered calls, folks, says uh, Michael. Um, 2203 down only 59 cents. Rocket Lab only down 11. Matterport is down 171. So Matterport might give you some opportunities to buy some calls back cheaper. Uh, question of what you know whether whether you're happy with the uh, with the return or not um, might be worth your while. Uh, 196.08 on uh, GameStop. Um, Bruce, I took the advice on writing a SoFi $25 covered call for two weeks out. A uh, time to buy back. Thank you very much. There you go, Dustin. Rob, a uh, bid ask on the 195 is 1685 to 23. <laughs> My stink bid is 1565, but I just moved it to 1690. Wish me luck. Well, you know, Rob, I gotta say, it's no rush. Uh, you can hurry uh, if you if you scoop them back cheap. Uh, way to go, man! Uh, that what, that would be fabulous. Uh, see what happens, my friend. I know you'll keep us posted. Uh, laugh a lot. All my stink bids just exercised my SoFi covered calls. Uh, nice, Auntie. I'm uh, glad I wrote all those SoFi covered calls yesterday. Says CJ. Dana says good luck. Pat just woke up. Sorry, your headline says record short interest in SoFi. Please give the layman's a quick read. Uh, Michael, I bet you are happy. You saw your comment about writing those covered calls. CJ says it's going down. Uh, so funny, y'all. We're talking about this this morning because I set set these set these last nights. Level. I wish I could have set them lower. Um, Rocket Lab down only seven cents. Uh, SoFi down sixty nine. GameStop down four dollars to one ninety six oh nine. Matterport twenty two ninety now down one eighty three. ME down thirty two cents. Spire down four cents. ATIP down one and a half pennies. Smart Rent up twelve cents. And Sextera on changed and there you have it there's where we're at here watching the game stop uh now down 498 i think rob's got to be getting out of these pretty quick michael a flesh infection didn't buy back yet but have a limit order in rob there's no volume since it's a december but seeing as it's close to at the money i hope it picks up right on rob it could well and uh you just got to be patient with your with your bid uh you know if you see that market dropping further pull your bid back don't be a don't be a hero and be the, the top buyer just back off and uh, make them come to you be greedy really be greedy uh and all mine executed when the market opened as i hope they would says anti pc 195.44 on gamestop down 465 this the market is backing off at the moment down 465. i'm trying to remember rob uh, which contracts you wrote i can't remember you wrote, um, was it 195s? Um, but I can't remember the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the series. Was it December's? Uh, trying to remember. I was want to look at them. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, I've got. Uh, 
Let's see what we have here. Uh, there's November 26, and then let's go to December. Uh, December thirds uh, are 19 to 24. Uh, were they actually? No, they weren't December's. You were you were talking November's, weren't you, Rob? Um, I'm trying to remember which ones those were. Though they weren't that far out. I don't think they were that far out. Maybe they're a bit closer in. Uh, let's take a look here. We're looking at November. Were they November 19, 185s or 195s? I'm showing those at 16 and a quarter to 1750. I'm not sure. Um, and Mr. T, bye, baby. Bye, bye, baby. Goodbye. Matterport and SoFi don't make me cry. Rocket Labs green again. IBM, why? Bruce's green shirt could use a green tie. Uh, Nick. Which call options to buy for SoFi? Well, should I be buying options on SoFi? What call options should I get? Uh, good question. Always, uh, you get them cheap enough. You want to get them out uh, to next year. So you want to get uh, April, uh, February, March, April, and uh, somewhere around the 20s, 22.50s so would be fine. Deep value. Hey, Bruce, does a call option strike price affect the movement in the stock's price? Not really. Uh, it can give you a hint that there's activity, but not really. 195 December thirds. Ah, thank you, Rob. Okay, you got 195 December threes. Let me th let me move up here. Yeah, here we go. 195. So they're 1910 to 2405 at last uh, report. But I my my uh, I'm sure that my uh, my quote is way off. Uh, 193 684 on games are going down down six bucks. Those those December thirds are coming to you, buddy. Uh, they're going to come to you. You want to back off. Definitely want to back off. Uh, uh, they're not 1910 anymore. They're definitely lower. Uh, okay, AB, hey, B. Uh, hey, Bruce, uh, there's a good rule of thumb for covered call buybacks. Um, uh, I sold my five November 19 Matterport cover calls for $1.15 each. If the price decays to below 25%, don't bother. Let it die. No, buy it back. Uh, buy them back and lock it out. And then you can look at writing new calls for the next week when you get a bit of a recovery. That's the way you want to do it. Just get out of here. Uh, uh, the last three, four days for a quarter, forget about it. Take take the money. Just get out with them right now. Take it right now. Apple's moving up, says Michael. IBM plans to acquire Ria Kata, whatever that is, a next-gen threat response platform. Uh, interesting. Um, Apple and IBM, how are they doing? Uh, IBM is up 15 cents. Apple up a dollar 18 at the moment to 150. Apple has recovered that loss they had after the earnings. Just so you know, Rocket Lab is down 19. SoFi is down only 48 cents to 22.14. GameStop now down 6.93 to 193.16. So those 195s that Rob is talking about are definitely backing off in value. Way to go, Rob! Uh, hopefully you're scoring them for a really cheap price. That's what I would love to see happening here for you. Um, December thirds. See if I get an updated quote here. I'm not sure if I can see one any good on my system here uh still showing 1910 so I, i'm not getting any good quotes i'm seriously considering buying my 185 gamestop back now if it flirts with only being 100 percent underwater uh Vilbus, you know again um you don't really have to i mean the stock's backing off the stock's backing off uh your 185s are only worth 876 book value um you know it's going the way you want uh Stocks go down faster than they go up. Uh, they go further down than they go up. Uh, the stock wants to go up, you'll do a rollover. Uh, you know, if you're making money, great. Uh, but if you're not making money, I wouldn't be in a real hurry. Um, anyway, uh, 193.83, up to you. Free thinker, smart rent, looks strong for the morning. Uh, Rob, last bid is 16.25. Uh, so I moved my bid back down to my original stink of 15.65. There you go, buddy. I, I think that's the way to go. Um, don't be a hero on the high bid. Just don't uh, back off, and if it comes to you, it comes to you, uh, because you're in control. Uh, the market is going your way. It's down seven bucks now on the stock. So, yeah, I'm going to hold firm from now. Says Vilbus. Nice job, Rob. Uh, Vilbus, you should have great time decay since you have a week left. I'd give another day or two. Exactly. Uh, uh, today will be decay. <laughs> if this uh, this kind of price uh, holds here, it's decay. Mike, have you ever seen an ATP for Windows charts aren't streaming? Uh, you ever seen an ATP for Windows? I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, there you go. 193.07 on GameStop, down 702. We're down 61 on SoFi. Matterport, 23.25, down 148. The low on Matterport, 22.72. So kind of come back 50 cents from the low of the day here. 
Uh, so Matterport had a bit of a dip. I don't know if there's much more to it. ME down 21, Spire down 8, AATIP down 4 cents, Smart Rent up 27 to 1402 on 26,000 shares. 1402 up 27, Smart Rent going higher. Uh, Six Terra <clears throat> down 3 cents. Very good. IBM up 23 cents, Apple up a dollar 12. So what we got going on right now. Um, what else is happening? Uh, GameStop 192. 68 GameStop 192 68 uh with further deterioration coming in right at the moment um 192.50 on GameStop so there you go there's the uh, there it is those 195s are out of the money and it's all premium and um you know they're gonna they're gonna back up there's no if ands or buts and so Rob I know Rob's watching it closely. Um, he may want to, uh, you know, he may be backing off his bids bit by bit by bit as the stock keeps backing off. Um, you always want to get the, you get filled from a desperate seller. That's what you're looking for is a desperate seller who's going to hit your bid. Anyway, very good. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, um, does anyone know if you need special approval and margin account to run poor man covered calls? on TD. I don't know about that. Uh, Chow, Uncle Bruce, if I do not want to be exercised on the options um, I am short on, may I wait the day of expiry to buy back? Or do I need to do it the previous day, Thursday? Uh, grazie from Italy. Um, the key here is is um, if the contract is in the money, all right, if the stock is trading at uh, let's say it's GameStop and the stock is trading at 192 and you've got 190 calls, you are risking exercise. So the sooner you buy back, the better. Thursday is a really good idea because you might not uh, have any choice in the matter. Um, Got to be careful on that. Yeah, especially in the money contracts. Be careful. And the more in the money, be careful. Exactly. Yeah. I hope that makes sense for you. Um and uh, let's see. I'm holding out for the stink bid till the morning light, says Mr. T. I bought some more GameStop, says Delahode. Okay, it's my bid now. Let's go. There you go, Rob. You're in charge. Uh, you're the best bid they got. 719 drop at 192.90. Beautiful. This covered call thing makes me understand wanting prices to go down. Still a weird feeling, says AB. Uh, holding firm. Worst case scenario is I buy back at book value and roll on Friday afternoon. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You're going to win. Uh, there's no if, answer, but. Uh, glad I didn't panic and buy back my GameStop 190 covered call for this Friday. There you go. No need. Uh, 729 drop right now, 192.80. Um, you know, the stock could go back to 200. It could. Uh, but uh, it also could go to 188. We don't know. Uh, these markets are what they are. The Dow's down one hundredth of a point right now. Uh, S&P up 8 and uh, NASDAQ up 21. So, you know, these markets will move. Uh, SoFi, 22 bucks, down 62 cents. Rocket Lab, down 8 cents. Uh, GameStop, down 7.66. Matterport, down 178 to 22.95, the low of 22.72 today. Uh, we've got um, ME down only 18 cents. Spire down a nickel. ATIP down 3. Smart Rent up 16 now. Sixterra down 3 cents. Um, what's taking so long for exact earth? to officially merge with Spire. Is there a common timeline for how long it takes for announcement? Uh, 90 days, Nicholas, is typical. Uh, 90 days. You've got to call both shareholders for votes. You've got to do all the legals. You've got to do all the notifications. Um, yeah, all that paperwork. 90 days. It's well underway now, probably halfway through. But, yeah, that's how it is. My 45... Um, uh, Euro in loop ring are already up 50%, bought twice. The first trade is over 100%. Well, way to go. Um, what's up with Matterport? Connor wants to know. A uh, little profit taking, but 23.34 down 139. Um, we're back 60 cents from the low of the day here, so we're coming back on. Uh, Vilbus, yeah, roll over on Friday because then even in, in the money, you're just paying book value for it. Exactly. Downward pressure weakening according to the historogram on the minute chart in GameStop. 192.49 down 760. Sorry, Bruce, I was asking Mike for some fidelity help. No problem. Uh, Mike uh, seems fidelity has been having a bunch of issues. Nicholas, wait, Matterport earnings come out tomorrow. 
Rob, AB covered calls don't make you necessarily wish for stock to go down, but it makes for a nicer day when your stock does go down. Uh, pretty obvious short selling on SoFi is start a chart here. Uh, writing calls in bear is in bearish. If you're expecting the price to stay or drop, uh, let's see here. Uh, you always have the option of rolling. Um, yeah, stink bid on GameStop calls are printing. There you go. Uh, GameStop down 776, 192.33 right now. Yes, Gildy, writing calls is a bearish bet, also known as going short. Well, yes, that's always an option, but you'd prefer not to have a rollover. Mediocre, Adika, I stopped using ATP. It sucks. Uh, never mind. Let's move on. So the merger will be done by January. They're talking 90 days, so maybe by then. Uh, okay. Um, bought back my covered call for 505 for those 17s. Lost a couple hundred, but I didn't want to give up my stock laugh out loud. Well, look, Paul, if the shares uh, bounce back the other direction, you'll rewrite new calls. And away you go. Uh, higher exercise price, um, higher premiums. Uh, more cash to you, and away we go. 192.19 on GameStop, down 790. DQ Mediocre, yeah, I was using it on the Mac, and it broke yesterday. Rob, um, Gaiotti, why wouldn't uh, I want to roll over? My strike would be higher, and I get more premium. Um, I love ATP, says Michael, how it, when it works. Um, is a stink bid just to buy back a covered call? It can be on anything. It can be a stink bid to buy stock. Uh, sometimes you put in a stink bid on a stock you love. <laughs> <laughs> like like Spire, it's 575 right now. You put in a stink bid at 501. Good for the day in case it goes to 501. You, know, you don't know. It, you know, it goes down to 530 and it's 535. All of a sudden, in five minutes, it goes down to five dollars a share and then comes back to 530. You got your stock at 501 because uh, it traded below you. Uh, stink bid. Uh, sometimes you do that, but also on covered calls, you can put in stink bids, really cheap stink bids, on violent dips that just happen without warning can happen down 790 on gamestop 192.18 atp is active trader for a pro for fidelity uh let's see if you have 100 of a particular stock isn't it silly to just blanket limit sell it if you can limit sell covered calls of a particular date and strike and order duration may get some premium too uh again um, limit orders have their place uh sometimes limit orders are buy orders sometimes limit orders are sell orders uh you know uh you you want to write you want to write a GameStop call for this Friday uh, for $195, let us say, and you put it out there at $595, and it's trading right now at $220. You put a stink order in there to sell at $595, and the stock has a $3, $5 run and backs off. You get taken out. You're up. You've written a call at $595. Now you're putting in stink bids to buy it back. There's, there's all kinds of ways to play this. GameStop rises $9 on $4 million yesterday, dropped $7 on $300,000 this morning in 30 minutes. This is fascinating. Yes, it is. It is very fascinating. This is how this market can work. And this is why option writers can make a lot of money. Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, isn't that interesting? It's just a low bid then. Yes, it is. It's it, it, A stink bid is a low bid. It, it, it's what we call a stink bid. It's just a... That bit stinks. It's like trying to buy a house. Guy's asking four hundred thousand for a house, and you offer him three ten. That's a stink bit. Uh, yeah, for sure. On some token, AB, if you want to make a limit buy order for hundred shares, it makes more sense to write a cash secured put and hope it hits. There's that too. All kinds of ways to play this market. One ninety two sixty six down seven forty three on GameStop. The low of the day one ninety one sixty nine today on three hundred ninety five thousand shares. And if you're putting in a stink bid on a contract, you just let it sit there. You don't budge unless you bring it down. The, mar the market keeps dropping. You bring your stink bid even lower. But you never know. Someone puts in a market sell order for some contracts. They, they, they give up. You get hit. And you're in. And there you go. You say, thank you very much. May I have another? Uh, let's see. A nice free thinker. Uh, did you ever touch on short interest for SoFi? I was just scrolling through the episode. Didn't find it. Free thinker, the buys are back in town. Momentum just positive. It's a low bid. It stinks to, for the seller. Exactly. Exactly. Um, on the short interest on SoFi, um, I'll just mention that uh, more and more articles are coming out about how the shares are being accumulated here by more institutional buyers. The volume was very high yesterday on SoFi, as we all know. Um, there's, uh, there's talk about uh, increased short numbers. 
Uh, there are more and more articles coming out about higher short interest uh, showing on SoFi week in, week out, week in, week out. Seems that the higher the shares are going, the higher the short interest seems to be, which is a recipe for the stock's going to go even higher. Uh, so there you go. We're at 22.24 down only 38 cents. SoFi has not given up the, the ghost today. It's just not giving it up. We were as low as 21.60. And now we're at 22.24, 64 cent improvement from the low of the day. We're only down 38 cents on SoFi, 7.8 million shares. There's buying coming in here, kids. The short sellers are not getting their way if that's what they're hoping for on SoFi. It's not happening. GameStop, 193.64, down 6.45 as we fluctuate this morning. Matterport, down 126 to 23.47, low of the day, 22.72. We have come back uh, 70 plus cents on Matterport. We were down as much as two bucks. We have come back nicely on Matterport as well. All the ways to play the market. It's like a fun new game on Christmas morning that you play all day, laugh a lot. It's a new monopoly. Uh, stink bidders are the guys and gals who ignore Craigslist posts and say no low ballers, no tire kickers. Kick them tires, do what you want, laughing out loud. There you go, Mr. T. Where have all the good bids gone, and where are all the cro crocs? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising stocks? I need a stink bid. I'm holding out for a stink bid till the end of the night. Uh, Mellow Spire just spiked. Spire, 584 up 4 cents. It did just spike. Uh, just came up from 565 now to 584. Looking good. Hit the thumbs early. More thumbs ups equals more eyes on our stocks. James, wise words from you, my friend. We do have 326 thumbs ups. What number are you guys for thumbs ups today? Let me know what your number is. Work makes it difficult to focus on the market all day. I should change careers. I read about SLI last week, up 400, making lithium in the U.S. Um, free thinker, uh, da, 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 the boys are back in town. Do, uh, the boys are back in town. Joe, uh, is married put strategy useful to protect downside or generally too expensive to purchase at the money put? Uh, Joe, I'm not sure about that strategy. Sometimes uh, the premiums can kind of sink you. Laugh out loud. Thanks, everybody. Says Andrew. Nice. Is Craigslist, Craigslist still up? I don't even know. It's still going. I have no idea. Uh, Spire, 584, up 4 cents. Um, Spire, that's where we're at right now. Um, Matterport, 23.50, down $1.23. We were down to 22.72. Uh, we're coming back here, uh, 78 plus cents on Matterport. Uh, GameStop, 193.17, still down 6.92. Now back to 193. Watching that closely, 440,000 shares. SoFi down 26 cents, only 22.36. Uh, we were down to 21.60. 76 cent recovery, only down now only down 21 cents on SoFi. Anybody buy back calls? You might want to get ready to rewrite them later today. Uh, you never know. Uh, sometimes there's trade, sometimes there isn't. Lorraine says, I'm thumbs up number three. 38 uh 330 thank you um 569 says paul rodriguez that's where i'm at um we're at 350 on the thumbs up so i don't know where that number's coming from uh volume on on spire is 89,000. is that correct typically spire has no volume the 580 last trade 92,000 volume that's all i'm showing dead quiet on spire that is just how thinly traded this thing is smart rents another one 1382 up uh, still up six 67,000 volume, unbelievably light. Uh, ATIP down two cents, Spire unchanged at 580. ME is up 14 cents, it spiked. ME just took a shot in the last 10 minutes uh, from like 1150 uh, now to 1187, we're up 15 cents on the day, the low 1131. Big turnaround on ME today. Matterport 2361. GameStop back to 192.58, down 750. AB, if I do get exercised on my covered calls taken out. I think I might need a paper bag to stop from hyperventilating and wait a week to see what I should do with the extra money. <laughs> uh, you'll get used to it, uh, AD. You'll get used to it. Uh, Paul, Dr. Walter Bishop, it's actually now 91.209. The Credit Savage. Stink bids are awesome to buy back cash covered puts. Uh, once in a while, you'll put in a ridiculous stink bid and the company somewhere has bad news and the dips hard for maybe an hour and then back up. Exactly, exactly. Nice says, wow, I didn't know that. Um, 569 is like, 
it, it is like his order. He will exercise when applicable. Oh, okay. Uh, GameStop, 191.90, down 818. Adjust your stink bids lower. Bring them down. Uh, stock's going lower on GameStop. Getting interesting. Um, 192.32, we're jumping around here. Matterport, 23.62. The Dow's down 194. S&P up 11. NASDAQ up 33. Okay. Well, well, well. Uh, what else? Freethinker AB also get a box of adult diapers if you're playing the short game on GameStop. <laughs> Lorraine, these jokes are funny. I'm having a good time. Uh, thank you, uh, Freethinker. At some point, you'll be glad you did uh, with the diapers, uh, I guess. Uh, all right. <laughs> Rocket Lab only down two cents. Uh, SoFi only down 19 cents. GameStop still down 772. Matterport down a dollar 15. That's come back from a two dollar dip. ME up 20. Uh, Spire unchanged. ATIP down 1.9 cents. Smart Rent up nine. Sixterra down three. AMC down 13 cents. Robinhood down 46. Vanek up 250. Home Depot up 70. IBM up one penny. The Dow up seven points. Microsoft up 268. Apple up 92 cents. Tesla down only 20 bucks. Now it's coming back. Real Caribbean down 47. And Goldman down 223. There you go, guys. Interesting market. I've even got a stink bid in for mine at this point on GameStop. Come to pop up, baby. Come to pop up. Hit that great value bid, Rob. Uh, I always carry a box of depends just in case. Uh, free thinker, you never know, you know. Uh, Ryan, uh, SoFi coming in hot for the uh, opening price. SoFi down 22. Coyote, geez, I can't type today. Uh, Rob, seems like GameStop doesn't want to go below 191. Um, we'll see. Uh, 193.11, it wouldn't take much. We know how this works. Nick, uh, I'm out on all GameStop covered call at lower price, making a small profit. Right on. Coyote, it's all in the stink bits in the air. Got me vibing here. Uh, Rob, if it doesn't get more volume, it will. Rob, uh, just out of your stink bid and scheduled good till Friday. You don't have to think about it. Uh, well, I think I think each day stink bid will vary. Laugh out loud. And you can change it anytime you want. And you can make it daily. You can make it for a week. You can make it till canceled. There's all kinds of ways to play this game. SoFi, 22.44 down 18 cents. Rocket Lab up four. It's positive. GameStop still down 6.86. Matterport down only 97 cents now, less than a dollar. Matterport coming on real quick. Uh, it is now at 23.78 after dropping to 22.72. A one dollar six cent recovery on 1.5 million on Matterport. What does that tell you? Uh, ME at 11.98 up 26 cents. Uh, Spire unchanged, ATIP down two and a half, smart rent up 24 cents to 13.99. Plenty of juicy opportunities, uh, AB says here with GameStop or ME and Spire and smart rent. If the SoFi and Matterport give me lots of powder, low ball, what about so what you're saying, Uncle Bruce, is that a stink bid is like a low ball offer on Craigslist trying to buy it, but yes, yes, and you're allowed to do that in the market. Uh, put in a lowball offer for a covered call you wrote and just say, hey, if someone is stupid enough to sell me this call at 51 cents when I just sold it yesterday for 380, I'm there, baby. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm putting that bid in. I might be the only bidder that a market order gets. You never, ever know. You never know. It's funny how these markets work. Uh, Vilbus, you just changed the limit price then. Uh, sellers hate that. Uh, there's always, you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Global Bus, so you're saying there's, there you go. A stink bid is like if you told Bruce you'd like to buy an hour appointment of his time for 20 bucks instead of the $400 he usually charges. Uh, you hope he gets desperate for, for jam one day and he just takes the deal. Uh, there you go. Uh, Rob, that's exactly how it doesn't work around here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> GameStop 193.56 down 6.53. Looking for a stink bid uh, here and there. Why not? SoFi down two cents. Uh, Matterport down 86 cents. We're coming back here. Emmy up 22. Uh, Spire up a penny. ATIP down four. Smart Rent up 19. Sixterra down two. Hello, Jen. How are you doing? Good. Welcome. 
Taking we're having fun this morning. We're talking about stink bids. Oh, good. We're, we're, we're educating everybody about what a stink bid really is. And they're comparing it to uh, Craigslist uh, where they say, don't give us stupid offers for the bike and you put in a stupid bid for the bike. Uh, Rob just said, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, like if you told Bruce that you want to buy an hour of his time uh -huh. for 20 bucks instead of the $400 he usually charges. You're hoping he's so desperate for jam, he'll take the deal. Uh, uh, that That yeah. is... That is a stink bid. In property management, you have the requirements when you're going to do a capital expenditure. You might have to get five bids in, uh -huh. or you might have to get three bids in. Um, and so you ask for them, and you only get two. Right. You only get two. Right. And I have to have three. Yeah. So you, you go to someone and say, I need a bid on this. On this job. I need a bid. Give me a bid. And right. so they give you a stink bit. They give you a stink bit. But which is but it, what are you? I'm pouring cola in a glass and it just how, foamed over. How, how many years have you been pouring cola? Not enough. Not enough. Not, not, not enough. enough years. Is oh, this, it's just this is why you don't drink, isn't it? It's exploding. You have this a drinking I, problem. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> I have a pour. I have a pouring problem. You have a pouring. I don't have a drinking problem. I have a pouring problem. Yeah. There you go. I I only buy fresh diet coke. I don't buy the stale stuff. Is I that buy it? super fresh diet coke. It's got to really react. Well, maybe you could just have a little bit in the glass in the, at a time, and then pour more in as you go, and that way you'll feel like, oh, I've been drinking so much. I'm so full. Since 76, I've been doing this. <laughs> 76. That, yeah. Uh, I just keep smiling. You just, you just got to keep smiling. Just, just keep smiling. Keep smiling. Yeah. 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 AB, Bruce, I will, I will say, I like your style and give you a class. 75% off, laughing out loud. <laughs> hey, wait, where's Larry? Nice one. So, the, where's Larry? You guys have me crying, says Lorraine. Uh, good. Morning, Jen says Shaky. Um, he rang his bell and dipped out. Larry did his job. Good morning, Jen from Nelson. Nice five bucks for the bike, Paul. Uh, yeah. Offer <laughs> up is the worst. Uh, Larry. Good morning, Jen. Larry's here. Larry's here. Rob, I'm getting. I'm. I'm getting now. Uh, work done this morning. I'm getting work done this morning right now. Cash says nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. What's your best cash price? Global Blast, Rob. If Uncle Bruce says I'm charging 500 a month membership, I would be like, keep talking, Uncle Bruce, and take my money. Uh, Swiss, <laughs> nice. He's been quiet since ringing the bell. Nice, Swiss, but uh, okay, good. Had me worried. Uh, Paul, offer up the worst stink bid. Jesus, mama, babe. <laughs> I think we would have a better chance of getting a stink bid on AMC than Uncle Bruce discounting his one on ones, laughing out loud. Right. And we're green on SoFi. We That's are. We're right. up 15 cents on SoFi, up five on Rocket Lab. We're still down 477 on GameStop. We're down 79 on Matterport, but only 79. We're up 22 on ME. We're up a penny on Spire. We're down four on ATIP. We're up 18 on Smart. GameStop, so, 195. Pulled off a yeah. yeah, it backed off down to 191 or something for a bit. So far, back in the green, says Jordan. CJ, laugh out loud uh, as CFAST. Uh, Rob, $1 for the house, Jen. $1. <laughs> One dollar. Lorraine, I will bid a little t a little higher. American dollar. <laughs> I'll bid a little higher. $20 and one cent for one hour with Uncle Bruce. Uh, CJ bought back the covered call with the quickness. Uh, a, B, laugh out loud, airplane. And then I developed a drinking problem. A drinking from the wrong side of the glass spills all over self. <laughs> <laughs> the buys are back in. Um, the buys are back in town. The buys are back in town. The buys are back in town. Oh, That's, Nelson. Some of us like to listen most of the time. Uh, Larry. From the East Coast. The buys. The boys. The boys are the back in town. Back. The buys are back in town. The, the buys, buys are back playing hacky. Playing hacky. <laughs> playing ha hacky. The buys. We were watching a couple of minutes of Slapshot last night on, on the love television. That movie. Oh, God. We love that movie so much. Oh, it is it's so, so stupidly good. funny. Stupidly funny. Oh, we <laughs> love it. Let, 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 Dave's a killer. Dave's a mess. <laughs> uh, oh, we yeah. love that movie. Oh, so yeah. much fun. And the goalie explaining the different penalties. The different penalties. Uh, only them English bastards only do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Uh, we French guys, we don't do that. You go into the sin box. I stick you. You get two minutes. You go to the box. You feel ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is a 
creature of its time. It is indeed. Welcome one, welcome all to the show here with Bruce and Jen as we're uh, watching the markets have a little turnaround. It took, uh, what, 39 minutes and the markets are mostly positive all of a sudden, although yeah. I, GameStop's still off 470. Just mostly. Uh, mostly. <laughs> although, you know, we could go back down again. We, You know how this works, kids. You know how this works. Uh, but folks are figuring out when they write options. You got to watch the market all the time when you write options because if the stock goes up, you do rollovers. If the stock goes well, down, you buy your contracts back for a nice profit. Or you put in your limit offers. And you put in stink bids, and you you're want. always watching your stink bids, going, "Oh, maybe I'll get it. I'll get it really cheap, and I'll really score a deal." Yeah, we're having fun. It's hard to uh, to decide though. You're going to put in a limit and make ten or fifteen percent on your money when people are making a hundred, a hundred and fifty percent on their money. Yeah, but a stink bid is a stink bid. I mean, if you, if you write a call for four bucks and you can buy it back for eighty five cents oh, on yes. a stink bid, you you Absolutely. score a deal of Absolutely. deals. And the thing's trading one fifty five minutes later. You're going, I got it for eighty five cents. It's trading one fifty. I'm a genius. Put What's in your wrong limits. with that? Absolutely. Put in stink bids. Uh, dip done for GameStop. Checks. Wait, do you hear that? Winners cash checks. They they, they people Hogs get. People Water. quote that around here all the time. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Bruce, the word on the street is when Rocket Lab launches this month, Spire will lift off as well. What do you think? Uh, uh -huh. Maybe, Paul, but I, I I don't think so. I, uh, nah, I mean, we'll Spire is, uh, they manage satellites. Uh, Rocket Lab launches satellites. Two different guys in different world. Rocket Lab's contract lasts, what, five minutes, ten minutes, uh, you know, from liftoff, obviously, um, where Spire they manage for years. But hey, uh, you know, whatever. They might get some media. Game. Yeah, oh, sh that's true. Right? That's true. Uh, One ninety four on games that were a little lower again. Um, so, Mister Green shirt, what's it going to be? Oh, hang on one second. It never occurred to me that when I started trading last year that on red day, I would be pleased that I was losing less money compared to earlier in the day, and I'm down twenty four hundred from thirty two hundred. Yay! See? There you go. Uh, Larry's in the meeting. Shh. Old time <laughs> hockey coach. Old time. Old time Eddie hockey. Shore. Screw Eddie Shore. Uh, old time hockey. Screw old time hockey. We're losing. Oh, gosh. John, <laughs> hey, Bruce, he took your advice and rolled my eleven twenty six nineteen dollars $19 call so far into late January on the way to financial independence if this keeps up. There you, there you go. Right on. Right on. So far, I'm 27. You're just working for yourself. You're working for yourself. SoFi up 27 cents to 22.89. We're popping higher. Rocket Lab up four. GameStop still down 573. Matterport down only 98 cents. ME up 24. Spire down four. ATIP down four. Smart Rent up 15. And Six Terra down five. Bagel. Yes. 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 What to do for Bagel today? Go and re hit my kettle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what I'm thinking of today for a bagel, uh, bagel, a bagel, a bagel, a bagel, a bagel, um, we have to go get more today. Yeah, we got to get more because one. this is my last one for the day. I, I'm just thinking of a sesame seed bagel, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, butter, and then put on uh, a slab of if we have it, a slab of cheddar on each end, oh, each okay. side, and melt it into it. I can do that, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Do you but want crunchy. a little less burnt than it was yesterday? Oh, it could be kind of that. Uh, yeah. Kind of that. Just a um, little less. Little, 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 not too much. A little less. Oh, oh, it, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Okay. See what happens here. It is exciting stuff. Um, yes, my 9 a.m. meetings now start at 10 a.m. until North America changes, says Larry. Uh, Mr. E, a $1 stink bid works on prices right all the time. That's right. War just like prices right. $1, Bob. $1. Meetings, yuck, what did I miss? It was red in my meeting, and now it's green as I come back to the squad, says Cheddar Stacks. That's right, you're getting richer whether you like it or not, uh, Cheddar. Bama, babe, da Dana, yes, it, it is different mindset to invest this way. I do not look at the bottom line of the value of my stocks, but instead I look at how my cash account is growing. There you go, CJ English. If you get called uh, on a covered call, couldn't you just turn around and buy the stock right back around the same? Yes, yeah, that's exactly what you do. You just buy it back and write another call. You keep going, exactly. That's what I keep trying to tell everybody. It's exactly what you do. Uh, nice, I'm spoiled, haven't had one meeting in seven months. CJ, keep writing calls. Vilba's a temporary dip for GameStop if no volume, uh, down 608. Uh, er, temporary rebound. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, perks, nine till five. 
Um, all Hungry Grizz, a Hungry Grizzly Spire and Rocket Lab are both space focused industries. It, it is possible they're correlated. They're not in connected core, in the same industry. Bama, CJ, yes, or put in a cash cover call and collect a premium as well. Abdelahod is so far ain't giving up. Dana, Bama, babe, I expected to go down compared to yesterday. Have been gaining tons over the last few weeks, and there must be some adjustment down, right? Uh, Papa Gamer, so far twenty two ninety. Uh, well, uh, I don't think so. Twenty two fifty two, but you know, it's uh, doing all right. It did. Did hit twenty two ninety three here, so it's got a little shot down now, but uh, it's doing great. Uh, looking very good. Uh, we're down six thirty three on GameStop. Matterport down one thirty three. Little dip coming into the market right now, temporary. So looking so strong today. Uh, Ryan, so far, go so far. A B, a strange brew tonight. A strange brew taught me everything I know about Canada. I gotta tell you, first time I went to Canada, I saw a Canadian flag outside of McDonald's. I realized McDonald's does uh, faux patriotism for money. <laughs> <laughs> of course, in Canada, it's McDonald's Canada. There's a Cana there's a corporation called McDonald's Canada, and it's a Canadian-based company, which is owned by the parent of the American side. But it is a Canadian corporation. What can I tell you? Uh, Shmia says anti-PC. Uh, Diana, yes, and cover calls are great for those down days. Uh, Cam Haynes, if the shorters come back to GameStop, it'll be time to put on the foil, coach. Time to put on the foil every game. Uh, Michael, oh, knows it recovered. Did you get out or waiting? Uh, we're now down five bucks on GameStop. We're down 25 on SoFi, down a penny on Rocket Lab, down 133 on uh, Matterport. We're up 32 on ME. Um, no, burnt bagels equals green markets. I'm wearing the same socks as yesterday for the same reason. Um, <laughs> Uh, Michael, flesh infection. Nope, missed my limit order by five cents. Laughing out loud. AB, strange brew tonight. Uh, no, strange brew taught me everything I know about Canada. Um, uh, Price is Right taught me the poorest people know how much everything costs. Laugh out loud. That's right. Poor people do know what things cost. Uh, Clay, I can't get rich now. Uh, I want to be poor socialist a little while longer. Uh, Dana, Obama, I'm, I'm only dabbling in buying calls one at a time. You are way ahead of me right now as far as your options skill set. I'm going into meeting freaking four this morning and I've been working for an hour and 15 minutes. Kill me. <laughs> you are the same stocks. That is a true sacrifice. You you be nasty. I hate meetings, says Michael. Shake it with my socks and my cheddar and, uh, and cheddar sacks coming back into the chat. We're only going higher now. Um, dude, me too. As, ex as, as corporate meetings... Uh, uh, Royale with cheese, uh, soccer stocks. Don't feel bad, Shaky. I have the same socks too. Michael, I'm just mad. I'm even in the office this week. Cheddar, I go through two pairs of socks a day at least. You, sir, are a warrior. I couldn't do it. Uh, nice. Bruce is hunting moose the same as not hunting a bald eagle. Isn't that the same? Uh, Dana, uh, as long as it's not the same underwear, A, B, take off, A, hoser, uh, he touched me. <laughs> Good time to sell some fifteen dollar calls on ME. Is this a good time? Oh my! I don't know. You could if you want to. You take a chance. AB Nelson, don't use slurs around here. Obama, Dana, you are starting out right the right way. Get those one hundred shares and then get into covered call game, and be the casino. Laughing out loud. Rob Smart over fifteen dollars. A smart rent thirteen ninety two up seventeen. Uh, Rob, 14. Um, uh, Lobo, I don't care what anyone says about Canada. Uncle Uncle Bruce, Jordan Peterson, and Drake are my favorite Canadians. Dana, yep, thanks. That sounds like a good advice. Uh, Cheddar, Rob made me look. I uh, haven't been in an office since March 2020, says Rob. Dave, I scheduled meetings around Uncle Bruce. Last Monday was Mega Meeting Monday. Uh, John, uh, good morning, Jen. Paul, what's a covered call for SoFi right now? What, what What's that? Oh gosh, um, where are we at now? Eleven ninety-five on ME. We're up twenty-three. It's one of the only green ones. Uh, we're unchanged on Rocket Lab. We're down nine on SoFi. And GameStop down three bucks. Matterport down one thirty-eight. ME up thirty-one cents. Spire down six. ATIP down four. Smart Rent up twenty-three to thirteen ninety-eight. And Sextera down one and a half cents. No, down fifteen cents to nine eighty right now. Okay. That's where we're at. The Dow's up 41, S&P up 11, and NASDAQ up 17. The Dow's at the high of the day at the moment. Um, Gaiotti, Michael, when I, when I was being interviewed for my current job, I told him I wouldn't work for them unless it was fully, I was fully remote. Uh, I will do anything before I go back to an office. 
Uh, nice. I prefer you, you, Wu Tang. Paul, what's a good covered call for SoFi right now? My alert went off on Smart Trade of 1401. Dana. Lobovlast, what about Aldo Nova? Uh, Cheddar, what uh, what does everyone think about MGM earnings? Ha, hold these calls or dump them. Uh, Eleven twelve expiry. Michael, uh, I've been in like seven times since COVID started, so I really can't complain. Is John Candy uh, in the top twenty of Canadians of all time? Come on, he's got to be. Uh, earnings are tomorrow. Gordon Lightfoot, the Galileo account uh, accounts growing exponentially. A real sleeper for the stock long term. Michael. Uh, Coyote, uh, but I hear you. I may look elsewhere soon. Uh, Dana Abadal, who? Okay, so I closed out my December 3rd, 195 after selling it yesterday for 25 bucks. I sold out, okay, I bought out at 19, I sold at 25, and, and just sold a 200 for Friday for 645 on this run up. There you go, 198.26 on GameStop, down 183. So he's so Rob made a six dollar profit on the uh, December one ninety fives, and now he just sold a two hundred for Friday for six forty five, which expires. It's out of the money right now by a dollar seventy. Interesting, Rob. Uh, Mister T. Bruce, I went out and bought some stink bugs as you recommended. <laughs> They're not really doing much, and the health inspector just closed my family restaurant down. This isn't working for me. Uh, Swiss. April wine. Oh, no. Michael, I've never been a better time to find the work you want, but fully remote, I say, go for it. They'll load. If Uncle Bruce's prediction on oil price is going down, I will gain since NOK is so tied to the oil price. Dana, uh, Lobo Blast, um, look his name up, and the song Life is just a fantasy. Uh, very 80s, and I like it from my youth. The video is hilarious, not intentionally. Uh, men, men tats, laughing out loud, Mr. T. Uh, stink bugs. No, no, stink bins. Oh, no. Uh, we're down three on Rocket Lab. We're down three cents on SoFi. We're down 217 on GameStop at 197.92. Matterport down 128. ME up 27 cents. Spire down six. ATIP down four. Smart Rent up 20 cents. A six star down 13. AMC up six. Robinhood down 34. Vanek up 115, where Home Depot up $1.07, IBM down 62 cents, the Dow up 32 points, Microsoft up two bucks, Apple down up uh, Apple up 70 cents, Tesla down $16, uh, Bed Bath Beyond down 15 cents, Blackberry down 18, Royal Caribbean down 24, and Goldman Sachs up $1.43, turn around, coming back, there you go, there y'all go, uh, Okay, uh, Goyote T, you got played by a market maker. Um, I get into um, Cheddar Sexes. I get into Sextera, ATP, Inspire. They all go down. You all hate me. Uh, calls on stink bugs. Um, Dave Clayton Thomas is my favorite Canadian. McDonald's Canada was the one who pulled the trigger on expanding McDonald's to the Soviet Union. Did Reagan say thank you for them ending communism in the Eastern Bloc? Hmm. Uh, Goyote's story of my life. Obama, Cheddar, just get out of the game. Laugh out loud. You are hurting us. <laughs> <I'm laughing out loud. laughs> oh man, so far I just went green. We're up 13 cents. Rocket Lab unchanged now. Uh now negative three. Uh GameStop down 243. Matterport down 111. Emmy up 26. Oh man. Joe, seriously considering converting SoFi calls to shares in this week's run. Uh go to what about the drummer guy from Rush? What about that guy? Bill, good morning, Uncle Bruce. Uh, good morning, Bill. Rob, stink bug, 205 for that 200. Let's see. <laughs> Mr. T says, I took your advice, Bruce, and I, I bought some stink bugs for my business, but now the health <laughs> inspector told me to shut down my restaurant. It's not working out. It's not working. The stink bugs aren't working. Uh, cheddar, uh, sheesh, I ripped off. I ripped SoFi from 16, and this is the thanks I get. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I paid laughing out loud. Nice PC, IDPC. How are the Alabama Crimson Tide doing? A uh, Swiss. Okay, Neil Pearl is uh, Pert is awesome. Neil Pert uh, isn't he dead? Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's very hot. Oh, okay. Because oh. not only is it toasted, but then I nuked it. So. It's, oh, it's it is it's, very. It's, it's the hot. this is the white cheddar. Yeah, don't put that on, you know, your palate. It'll just stick like glue and burn. Yes, it's the Dubliner. What You're not giving you? me a lot of confidence in, in how good this is going to be. <laughs> well, you just have to be patient. There. That's good. Okay. Mm. Isn't, I don't know what you meant if you didn't mean this. Well, I was thinking the uh, yellow cheddar. Oh. My cheddar slices. Those are cheese slices, honey. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta get with the program here. You want cheddar cheese slices? You've got to be specific. Otherwise, you're gonna get the white cheddar that I the, personally sliced. Thinking I, of I it. had for the you. Or I could have sliced my fingers <laughs> off. That's oh right. my Danger, God. Pete. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Swiss butter. You're saying it all. Yep. R.I.P. You're saying it right. Oh, no, these bagels are looking pretty good today. Put them back in the toaster for about eight minutes or so. <laughs> awesome, even in death, says Dana. Recently passed, great drummer. Nelson, my profile is now stinky and bugging me. Coyote, he's drumming in Canadian heaven. A.B., I had a Canadian professor. Her office had rushed everything everywhere. Oh, yeah. When I made a chit-chat with her, I asked her where she's from and realized that was a stupid question. <laughs> Auntie Bruce, you know who David Clayton Thomas is, right? Yeah, David Clayton Thomas. Wasn't he with uh, Was he with Lighthouse or was he with uh, Was uh, what was that name of that band? Musician. I've always been horrible at that. Mm -hmm. David Clayton Thomas. Yeah. You have to Google him, or they can tell. Maybe they could sing a few, <laughs> sing a few notes. <laughs> um, yeah, when I'm gone and when I'm gone, yeah, there'll yeah. be one more job to carry on, on, to carry on. Da, da, That's da, not Lighthouse, so I can't remember the name of the band. <laughs> See what you started here? Thanks a lot, Andy PC. See what you started here? Uh, CJ, $500, 520 on one Matterport cover call for 1119 yesterday. Crazy. If only I started doing this 10 years ago. Laughing out loud. Uh, Michael, the best drummer alive is Danny Curry. Um, Uncle Bruce, you forgot to hold up the plate at the side of the angle so we can see it clearly. Oh, well, there it is right there. The white cheddar. It's fantastic. Um, you want you want cheddar stacks. Uh, Rob, Bruce, Jen doesn't believe in you today. Can't pour your soda properly. You can't eat your bagel properly. Jeez, what happened last night? Oh, no. Uncle Bruce eating cheddar stacks. Did I get that right? Valhalla. Uh, Bill, I'm always tempted to lock in my profits after a good run, but at heart, I'm a gambler. Everything is nothing. Let it ride. Uh, Bama, babe. Um, cheddar saying, Ed. Dave Thomas, Wendy's, um, Anti PC, kiss her, bros. Um, Joe, um, MH Carey is great. Oscar's laughing out loud. Joe, I saw Jen's arm up to the elbow. Uh, Bill, <laughs> the SEC has 20 new filings for today. Some are to postpone new rules. Nelson, GameStop has bagel power. Uh, Lady Cena for blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's right. Um, David Clayton Thomas sounds like a George Clooney movie. Uh, come on, and he's in. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. Uh, Rocket Lab unchanged. SoFi up eight. GameStop up a dollar sixty to two hundred one sixty nine. Get ready to write contracts. Mm -hmm. How about that? Matterport down one thirty eight. Mm mm mm. Oops, SCC. Uh, love that song when I die. GameStop 201. You saw arm up to the elbow? I didn't know Amish could use the internet now. I just. You could be a Mennonite. They got flip phones. John William. Had an egg Sammy the other day with jalapenos, bacon, and pepper jack cheese on a puppy seat. Oh, dang good. That might be my new thing. Um. Rob, 20239, new high of the day on GameStop. Bill Bus doing, dang, if only I'd bought my GameStop cover call back earlier. Laugh out loud, we'll continue waiting. Clay, would $30 SoFi calls be a little ahead of the game at this point? Uh, I, it's been trending upward, a good place lately. A deep value investing stink bid on GameStop just printed. Thank you, Bruce. There you go. Um, yeah, it might be, you might be a little ahead of the market at 30. Uh, you might be a little ahead of the market at 30. Two one hundred and fifty GameStop. Rob, 
Are you going to write a $30 call? Or are you buying one? I'm, which way are you going, man? SoFi down 11. <clears throat> Rocket Lab down 2. GameStop up 167 to 20176. Matterport down 155 to 2318. Coming down again. Might be time to put in a stink bid to buy some Matterport calls. But remember, when you put in a stink bid, make sure you put it in an odd number. So if you want to buy, say you sell a call at 350 you want to buy it back around a buck, don't put an order at a dollar. Put in a stink bid at 101, 103, something odd. Don't be a nice round number. Be ahead of those nice round number people. Be the first one in line on the stink bid price. Little safety tips. 20105 on GameStop. Mm -mm -mm. Anyone, any thoughts on MGM? If you sell a covered call at a crazy out of the money price, you might have a hard time finding a buyer right away in the first place. No, it depends on the contract. Yeah. How far out in time? How far out in price? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Uncle Bruce. Question from Era. If I buy a GameStop put contract in the money, let's say 220 a month out, the stock goes to 190 in that time. What would be the profit? Well, it depends what you paid for the contract. Uh, if the stock, if the contract is is twenty dollars to buy and it's thirty dollars in the money, you got a ten dollar gain for sure with an in the money scenario. But what kind of premium have you got on top of it? My Spire Five 2022 are up 43 percent. Rock and roll. Uh, Fifteenths, CJ, my fifteen dollar. Five twenty twenty twos are up forty three percent. Rob, I wasn't clear all, all at all there. I was looking to buy some thirty dollars SoFi calls next spring or in June if they appear. Okay, um, Credit Savage. Uh, my thirty dollars SoFi January twenty two calls are actually not too crazy, Uncle Bruce. I got them when they were twenty five cents and they have now touched one ten. Over forty contracts are going to print for over ten cents. It, forever 10 cents so far it goes up i make 400 bucks there you go exactly uh not a bad move should i have bought my gamestop 190 covered call back yes i'm waiting until friday shrug uh look uh, the day ain't over um you know how the stock is it can go up and down up and down all day long um there could be wave after wave and the time factor is your friend so Let's wait and see. Mm. Mm. Good one, Rob. Well, I wish I wasn't having to sell these games that moves. I do love to see it moving back and forth so much. Let's keep that volatility alive. Bruce, why did you get out of the market when you got out of the business? What do you know when you got out of the business? Well, uh, you know, life changes. Um, um, you know, lots, lots of things changed. Um, daughter. Different career. Different opportunities. Things change. Bubbles. Just come out, come hang out with me at the GameStop covered call table where we're eating. Bagel power. AB, I'm up 700 on my seven rocket lab. 12 and a half calls for January. Should I anticipate a pop hold through December and see what happens? Obviously, if it quickly runs to 20 or consider selling. Well, 
you got uh, you've got uh, January's um, and Rocket Lab is only down seven cents today. Um, you know the upside is tremendous here. Launches, all kinds of news. Um, you know, I don't think it's a fourteen dollars stock. I think it's gone much higher than that. But you got to decide if and when to make your move. Um, Coyote Max, it's goddamn stressful. Um, Nicholas, hey Uncle B, I have ten December seventeen ME calls that I bought in June. I have ten December seventeen ME calls. Bought in June. If I take some profits when it hits twelve fifty thirteen. What calls should I be looking at to roll into from there? Ah, well, um, yeah, I don't know what you what contracts you've got, but um, you know if you're sitting on tens or or, or seven fifties, you're doing great. Um, you have to decide, you know, what you want to still hold options. You may want to look at maybe um, um, maybe April's uh, next year. Or you just want to sell the contracts and buy stock and start writing options on them if they go higher. Mind you, twelve fifty thirteen, you're not high enough to write options on yet. So you want to get over twenty bucks a share. So you want to watch that. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking at uh, you know, next year, February, March, April, May's, you can get twelve uh, fifties to 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 fifteen, something like that. Get a bunch of them cheap, uh, if that's possible. Get leverage. Maybe there's something. Anyway, you got ten contracts, right on. Uh, there's some there's some upside for you. That, you know, keep an eye on this. The stock's looking great. Hmm. Dow's up twenty seven. S P up eleven. Nasdaq up thirty five. GameStop two hundred two ninety. Just two, just touch two oh six. GameStop had a shot. Boom. Stink offer. Yeah. Nick, you always have to watch these markets. If you see a, a thing like that, you might want to have a. And an offer into sell covered calls. Say they're trading at five, six bucks. You put an offer in to sell at seven ninety five on a on a shot that the the potential stock takes a shot. Here it is. You get take it out. Next thing you know, the stock's down three dollars already, and you're laughing. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff here. I'm gonna kiss GameStop on the mouth. Says Coyote. Um, Wavy Gravy. I, I just wrote a GameStop call at the high. 1610 bucks into my account from 100 shares. Wow. I'm going to turn around and buy it back today. November 12th for uh, 200 200 dollar calls. Uh way to go. Um you know, keep an eye on it. $10 life 10 day lifespan. $16. Nice. 202 on the stock. Amazing movie, amazing. Thing is, if you're long GameStop right now, you want to write contracts that expire this Friday or next Friday or the Friday after that, and you're comfortable writing 205s, 200s, 210s, and if the 210s for next Friday are, I don't know, eight bucks. But you'd be willing to write them for like twelve and offer them for eleven ninety five. Put an order in to sell, uh, open open to sell, sell to open, whatever number of contracts you want to write at eleven ninety five. Put the order in there as a stink offer. It's a stink offer, way over the market. Shares take a shot to two oh six, two oh seven, and you get taken out. You're a happy pappy. Uh, now you got the price you wanted. Nice high uh, exercise price. Got the cash. Sit back and wait. Put in a stink buyback bid, uh, nice and cheap, and ride this thing back and forth. I can already buy it back for thirteen, three hundred and three minutes. 
put in a stink bid. Put in a stink bid at like, uh, I don't know, nine oh five, something like that. You might get lucky. Get him. Uh, get him at seven bucks less. <laughs> Teach me. What? What price? Ten oh five. Make six hundred. I'll keep everyone in tune on it. Uh, I read, look that up on the internet. Look that up. Just do a Google search for that. Uh, six stairs of the dip is being bought. Uncle Bruce just sold my November contracts and picked up 200 shares of SoFi. There you go. There you go. Good move. The bagel has been had. Rocket Lab down seven. SoFi only down eight cents. GameStop two hundred one sixty nine uh, up a dollar sixty. Right on, man. Good stuff. Yep, good stuff. All kinds of opportunities here. AB, in the first 30 minutes of opening options prices, seem to fluctuate wildly. And like, is this a good time or a bad time to put in offers, or is it really all depends? Yeah, I mean, there's no bad time to have a stink bid. The key here, I would say, is make sure to have your stink bids or your stink offers in well before the opening. Do not wait for the opening. Get it in. Put it in, in the middle of the night. If you can do it on your, um, you do it on your, uh, your platform, Put in stink bids overnight so they're in the market when you wake up the next morning. They're in there. That's how you want to play this game. Absolutely. Um, I've got stink bids out. ATIP $10 calls for eight. Nice. Uh, calling uh, in air support to bring more, more bagels, Bruce. Wavy stink bid is in at 9.05. There you go. The GL, way, way, way to go, Wavy. Good one. Yeah. Nine oh five. Let's see what happens. Um, you, might, you might get hit. The stock backs off another buck or two. You might get whacked, and there you go. You take it. <clears throat> I got I got stink bed. This is Michael. Uh, Rob, put in some alerts on the stock price, too, so you can keep track. Uh, I can always do that. <clears throat> 202.12 on GameStop, up 2 bucks. 201.98 on GameStop, backing up. Yeah. Uh, I'm giving Spire the stink eye, says uh, <laughs> Rob. Uh, Spire, 576, down 4. Um 22.44 on SoFi, down 18. 14.22 down 4 on uh, Rocket Lab. So down 4 cents, down 16 cents on Rocket Lab, SoFi. 202 on GameStop. Matterport down 109. Jumping around here. Um, ME up 19 cents to 11.92. Spire 5.78 down 2 cents. ATIP down 2.5. Smart Rent up 11 to 13.86. Sextera down 11 cents. Um, that's where we're at right now, watching this market. Uh, the Dow's up 57, S&P up 13, and NASDAQ is up 35, okay? <laughs> a VIP tour of the New York Empire State Building costs as much as a monthly car payment. Ridiculous. Um, it's I don't know if it's really worth it, <laughs> to be honest. Andy, no thanks. Netflix documentary showed Google is a biased and weighted search engine. Um, duck, duck, go is much better. So she greetings, fellow simpletons. What exactly is a stink bet? Um, thank you, Joseph no Nozoillo. <clears throat> thank you for that uh, donation on uh, PayPal. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Wavy's laughing out loud. I guess I missed the stink bit part. What is that? My SPIR stink bids purchased a 561. A, B, can you tell if someone has market experience in a way they haggle, view prices, make deals without knowing much else about them? Uh, sometimes, uh, Michael, they should they should Matterport the Empire State Building. Um, a monthly car payment like $250. Uh, let's see. See, 30 empty floors of the office space for $700. Wow. Um, whatever. $201.97 on GameStop, only up $1.88 now. Uh, backing off a little bit. Dow's up 63 near the high of the day <clears throat> at the moment. 
Uh, that's what we got going on here. Uh, very cool. Um, writing calls and buying them back. <clears throat> Offering calls uh, to write them on stink offers and putting in stink bids to buy them back. Got to make a class on this. Uh, Anti is laughing out loud. Nick sold 10 GameStop November 5, 207 strike. Collected some money. Good move. Uh, 207s uh, for November 5. Coming right up here. Uh, let's see. There we go. 545 to 6 bucks. Yeah, there might be some money in there for you. <clears throat> Keep an eye on that market. Uh, either a little dip today or just a grind out. The stock stays under 207 for the rest of the week. You keep all the dough. Nick, you could do okay there. Uh, nice, Nick. Uh, Rob likes it. Uh, Rob likes it, Nick. I think SoFly could break 23 today, or at least I hope so after we touched almost 22.90. Well, 22.36 right now, down 26. Uh, we're jumping about a bit here. So volume on SoFly today has been uh, 14.8 million. Uh, Rocket Lab, 14.24, down 3 cents on 364,000. GameStop 202 last trade 202.54 on 1.15 million. We're not going anywhere with that kind of volume. Uh, Matterport 23.56 down 116 on 2.2 million. Uh, that might go a little higher. It looks like ME up 15 cents on uh, 766,000. Spire 575 down a nickel on 194,000 only. ATIP down two and a half cents. 135,000 shares. Smart rent up 18 cents to 1392. Uh, volume 101,000. Unbelievably light up 18 cents though. Sex terror down 11 cents. That's what we got going on here, kids. Uh, interesting markets. Uh, you know, they need to add smell o vision to these brokerage apps. Put them, put in them their stink bits. Apple on a tear, says Joe. Is it really? Um, Apple up a dollar sixty-eight. It's not a tear, but it's up a buck sixty-eight to one fifty sixty-four. Um, by the way, I am thumbs up number three ninety-seven. Thank you, Splair. We're at three ninety-nine on the thumbs ups right now. Thank you all of you guys for helping us get over four hundred here. Dana agrees, Splair. Pickcomb, the thing interesting, the thing that's interesting today is it's not down dramatically. This seems to be a huge uh, give right now. Gaudi, who's going to be thumbs up number 400? Uh, let's get the popcorn ready, Dana. Michael, a small rip maybe. Maybe a small rip. Yeah, we're up 164. We'll take it. We'll take the gain. Uh, we're up down four on Rocket Lab. We're up there. We're down uh, 25 on SoFi. We're up 219 on GameStop. Matterport down 119, ME up 15. The Dow is uh, sitting with a 42-point uh, gain, giving up a bit of ground here. We're up 12 on S&P, up 25 on NASDAQ. 203 on GameStop, jumping around a bit, which it does. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, watching all these different contracts that are jumping a boot uh, all over the place. Lots of speculation going on, lots of gambling going on, which is what it's all about. Uh, you got to love it. Uh, Dana, Spire TV, got it. Rob, uh, remember less than seven days ago when GameStop was 176? Um, Austin, just logged on. The downside after yesterday isn't as bad as I thought it might be. I'll take it. Nice. Bruce, what are your thoughts on the Fed meeting? Nothing burger. Uh, it's a nothing burger. It's all, uh, there'll be some empty talk, but um, don't expect much. Too much money on the sidelines going into the market. The market's going to go higher. 203.60 on GameStop, up 3.50 at the moment. I think the high today on GameStop is this, isn't it? Isn't this the high today? Um, no, 206.64 was a high today. Pardon me. Uh, that was about half an hour ago. 203.29 right now. 1.19 million. Not enough to really rock this market. We need more volume. <clears throat> we'll see how this plays out. Matterport down 110. SoFi down 23 cents. Um, happy Pappy. In case I haven't told you lately, Bruce. I love you. Uh, I was quite per 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 perturbed this summer when my portfolio was down over 50%. Tens of thousands, but I kept buying and now started selling covered calls. I'm up money now. Uh, way to go, happy pappy. Way to go. I love red days, says Andy PC. That's when I get my good deals in. Patience is required. AB, it, it, is it roughly the last week or two? Options are most entirely book value, shares value only. Uh, last day or two or three. Depending on the volatility of a stock, it all depends on how active stocks are. Apple will be more at book value in the last few days, last week, where GameStop might be at book value the last two days. It all depends on the volatility of the stock. 
Austin, P ITPC, how was that funnel? Um, uh, we've got uh, SoFi down 20 now. GameStop 202.90, up only 281. Matterport down 117. ME up 22 cents. There you go. Mm, patience is required. Absolutely right. The Dow up 60 again, coming back on. Uh, S&P up 13. NASDAQ up 31. <coughs> Very interesting. Um, Avis budget stock more than doubles as blowout earnings follows a sharp jump in short interest. Musk says Hertz deal isn't signed and questions te Tesla's rally after the announcement. That was out first thing this morning before the opening. That was out last night. Um, let's see. Uncle Bruce, are, are still looking at new companies to cheer? If so, which ones? I'll let you know when I know. Nick, my 420 June 22 Goldman calls are now in the money and making a very tidy profit. What Goldman stock price should I wait for before I start writing poor man covered calls against these? Ah, you see? Well, let's take a look here. Goldman now um, is sitting at, uh, what's Goldman sitting at? Uh, 423.10. It's up 645 today. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, you know, you want the stock to go up a little more, uh, you know, get into the 430, 440 range, and then you might be looking at 445, 450 short-term contracts that you're writing against your contract. Uh, beautiful job. Um, stock's trading at 6.98 times earnings. I mean, this is so cheap. Uh, awesome sauce, man. I love this, Nick. Way to go on these contracts. Joe, hey, Uncle Bruce, that was my PayPal donation. Your help and commitment to this channel this year is and will continue to be immeasurable. Uh, Joe, I want to thank you again and again and again, all of you who make donations to me through PayPal. You guys are absolutely the best. Joseph, just that uh, donation came in. Thank you so much. You are definitely in the uh, silver medal position today. Um, and, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, right on, right on. Uh, sounds good. Uh, that's, I uh, got a message there. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Um, let's go, let's go. Here's another one here. Donation came in. That came in from Kim uh, Frymiller. Thank you, Kim, so much today for your donation. That came in earlier today. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, fabulous. Uh, absolutely fabulous. So much going on here. Um, messages coming at me. Oh, like you cannot believe. There's from every direction. Thank you all of you so much. Um, some of you uh, uh, looking to do one-on-ones. If you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, I've got, got a few for Saturday already, but I have opening Sunday you gotta just let me know when you want to have one. I'll see when I can squeeze you in. Um, constantly, constantly uh, working them here. Uh, thinking 440 says Nick, right on, buddy. 420 calls, laughing out loud, beautiful. Max, is the Dow near an all-time high? It's always near an all-time high. Chet, I'm a seller. Some calls today. Profits needed, limiting my risk, and need to add a little cash reserves for the red week. Says Cheddar. A B M E trying for 12 again. Uh, let's go over here and get through here. Um, Rocket Lab up a penny. Uh, SoFi down only 18. GameStop up $4. Matterport down a buck. ME, 12.01. We're up uh, 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 29 right now. Spire down a nickel. Um, down a penny on ATIP. Up 20 on Smart Rent. Down 8 on Sextera. Very good. Very good market here. Again, climbing again. Putting some high asks out there for contracts. I'm up over 60% on exactly. Uh, offer contract writing offer to write contracts with stink offers exactly put them way up there uh joe uh silver medal i'm not millennial but that means something um bought my first class last night uh thank you uncle bruce for great info right on i'm glad to see that uh, i'm glad you're learning just bought some long-term nokia call options the company is positioning yourself to play an important role in 5g uh, Cheddar, yeah, if you're not first, you're last. That's what I what that means, laughing out loud. Andy, whoever asked me about the Crimson Tide, we're 7-1 so far. Number three on the top 25, we're slipping. There you go. Right on. Uh, yeah, only down 16 cents now on SoFi. Uh, uh, GameStop only up 3.55. We were a little higher, but it's backed off a bit. Matterport, down a dollar. 
Um, ME up 28 to 12 bucks on the nose. The Dow's up 61, S&P up 14, NASDAQ up 43 cents. Shake and bake, baby, says Joanne. Shake and bake. <laughs> right on, guys. Right on. Fabulous. Fabulous stuff. Love it when you guys write options and buy them back for cheap. Uh, love it when you do that. Love it when you're able to flip them like that. Making some nice money here on these uh, on these rights. Taking advantage of these high premiums that are just being offered to you on a silver platter. It's beautiful. The beauty of writing is that you not only get the, the price depreciation, but the time depreciation. You have a double win at your hand here. I asked about MGM, not the tide, says Cheddar. Uh, MGM, uh, ooh, who cares? Um, but someone did ask about the tide earlier, uh, so Auntie, you're on the right track. Rocket Lab up four cents to fourteen thirty. It's improving. Uh, SoFi down now only eighteen cents. GameStop two hundred three hundred five only up two ninety six now. Uh, Matterport down a dollar one. ME up thirty to twelve oh two. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, yeah, S and P five hundred Nasdaq touch records as Federal Reserve begins pivotal two day policy meeting. So we're at uh, near uh, near all time record highs on all our indexes right now. The Dow, uh, the high for the Dow is thirty six thousand and nine. We're at thirty five thousand nine sixty one. So just a little bit behind, but not by much. Could set new records today. Apple up a buck seventy-eight now to one fifty seventy-four. Apple's coming on, and over at um, uh, at um, Cisco up a dollar seventeen on Cisco, fifty-seven twenty-six. That's approaching fifty-eight to sixty on Cisco. Looking good on Cisco. Apple getting better. Very nice to see those guys going higher as well. Bruce, what's going on with Avis? Uh, don't really know i'm not following them very closely thank you bruce you got it anti pc you got it josh do you think earnings next week will be good or bad for so fine me um you tell me uh, uh shares are going up today um have been going up this last little while for good reasons so we'll see what's going on yeah some guy i know about mgm calls he wants to know if anti pc likes mgm um how long into november can spire be held down uh you know, I, I don't know. Uh, trading halt on CAR? You mean AMC? Uh, I guess I'll have to roll my Cisco calls. Um, yeah, Cisco getting stronger. Spire, 574. ME, 1199, up 27. Matterport down only 97 now. And GameStop down is up 3 bucks at 203.09. SoFi down 25 cents. And Rocket Lab uh, up a penny at the moment. <laughs> Oh, man. A Cheddar Stacks is bound to determine to find out something on MGM. I don't cover MGM. I'm not going to talk about it. I don't know anything about MGM here. Uh, I think earnings will be great for SoFi. Bad for ME, says Mojo Ryzen. Anti, SoFi earnings will be better than everyone thinks they will be, but there still will be a crush, um, IV crush. Uh, Joe, uh, game, uh, Goldman Sachs having a great run. Goldman Sachs having a great run. Uh, right now, Goldman Sachs up uh, 597 to 422. Looking great, looking great. Um, nice to see. I'm not surprised. It's a super cheap stock. A uh, lot even at Super Chat, huh? Uh, Amos had an earnings blowout. Uh, ATIP two and a halves for Jan 20 just popped 54% to 190. ATIP. Uh, that could be because the last trade was a week or two ago. We don't know that. Um, Shaky. I'm not sure how to how to read that for sure. Okay, gotcha, Cheddar. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about MGM stock. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know anything about it. Um, over here at uh, at ATIP, 288 a share down, two cents. So, you know, ATIP stock is not causing any movement on options. Uh, ATIP volume, 168,000. That's not going to create anything either. So I got nothing today. Um Car Avis up 185 percent past hour and trading halted now. Says Steve Wavy, should I be looking to write calls on my SoFi or wait until 2324? What do you think? Well, uh, we're down 14 cents. Uh, it, it's your call. Uh, you know, up to you what you want to do, what kind of a premium you want, how long you want to go out. So you have to decide for yourself which uh, which way you want to play this. Um, 204 on GameStop. We're up four dollars uh, a share right now, or up 391 right at the moment. Um, 
SoFi down only eight cents on the day. Um, what time is Powell supposed to speak today? I don't even know if he, does, he will. Uh, it's a two-day meeting. I'm not sure if he's going to speak at all. Um, I have no idea. Uh, SoFi down 12, Rocket Lab down 1, um, GameStop up 4 and a quarter, uh, Matterport down 105, ME 11.98 up 26 cents. That's where we're at. Mm, okay, Dow's up 70, S&P is up 15, NASDAQ up 48. They're higher, but they're not higher like big time. They're at record highs, yeah, but they're not shattering them by any massive amount. The Dow hasn't hit a record high yet. It's just below the record high. The Dow's awfully, awfully close, um, but we're not getting like, you know, massive uh, shatterings of the all-time. We're just drifting higher, dribbling higher, dribbling higher. We're up 350 on GameStop. It's backing up just a little bit. Um, there you go. There's where we're at, guys. Uh, uh, what time is it? We don't know. Yep, Avis went today from 174 to 535. Um, yeah, there, nobody knows why. Sometimes I make $2,000 volume on ATIP. You have a, what, a lot of time for decisions. Uh, Avis, that's ridiculous. There's a lot of money for a stock that expensive run. Holding my November 19 ATIP $10 option that I bought a few months ago because it's just funny to look at. Okay. ATIP. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's under uh, 289 on the stock, unfortunately. 575 on Spire down a nickel. We're up 24 on ME at 1196. And the Matterport's still down a buck 02. Uh, GameStop up 377 to 204.10. SoFi down 7 cents. Rocket Lab up one penny this morning. That's where we're at right now. Uh, that's it here. That's where we're at right now. We're up 86 on the Dow. That's the high of the day. Um, approaching the record. Not quite there yet. Still a little bit to go. Probably about 10 points. Uh, let's see. 35,997. We need to get the 3609. So, yeah. Uh, another um, 11, 12 points, and the Dow will be at a record high. So, the Dow needs to be up about 95 points to be at a new record. Could happen. Yeah, absolutely. SoFi down two cents, coming back on. GameStop up four fifty four. Uh, opportunity to write options on GameStop continue to come in. Um, we're only down sixty four now on Matterport. The high of the day was twenty four fourteen. We're at twenty four nine, five cents away from the high of the day, which would still be a fifty nine cent loss on the day. But we are coming on. Uh, we just hit a new high on Matterport, 24.17. We're down 56 cents on 2.45 million. We're just at the high of the day on Matterport on a straight up shot here. And we've had a good hour now uh, where we come back quite nicely. Low of the day, 22.72 or 24.22. Buck 50 recovery on Matterport, down only 51 cents to 24.22. This is the high of the day. 24.33, jumping again on Matterport. Very quickly jumping higher on Matterport. 24.33, GameStop, 205.07, it's moving higher. SoFi is up three cents, moving higher. Rocket Lab up four cents, moving higher. ME at 12, going higher. Spire down four cents, coming around. ATIP down two. Smart Rent up 20 cents at 13.96. Sextera uh, down 14 cents at the moment. Um, Matterport, 24.19 down 54 cents. The high of 24.33 just a moment ago. That's what's going on right now. Um, so if I go in for the green, um, Bruce, any chance you got email I sent to your Hotmail account? Um, I got it. Yes, Gregory, I got it. I have to respond to you privately. Uh, I'll try that later today. Um, you you got to cut me some time here on this. Um, I get so many requests. It's it's just unbelievable. Just give me some time. Oh, boy, ladies and gents, Avis has only 66 million shares outstanding. John, might need to buy a couple put contracts on car. That's got to correct itself. Um, Avis, Rocket, uh, 11 million volume. Uh, when I saw Avis at 200, I was like, damn. Then looking back, a new Matterport high. Uh, right now, 24, 28 on your Matterport, guys. We're improving here. Um, where are we at now? 
down 45 cents on Matterport. We're up 13 on SoFi, 22.75 going for 23 now. 14.26 on Rocket Lab, unchanged. Uh, GameStop 206.04 up 5.95. ME up 26 cents. Spire down 5. ATIP down 1.9. Smart Rent up 20. Six Terra down 14 cents. IBM down a dollar. Dow is up 73 points. Apple up 186. Uh, what other stock had that small of a float? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, let's see. Um, dumb stock question 101. How does a stock open significantly higher or lower than the last price? How does the market decide to price a stock for, say, 30% lower than the previous day? Seems arbitrary. This is this is the free markets, man. This is how it goes. Um, thanks, Bruce, says Gregory. You got it, Greg. Um, Rocket Lab up. Four, SoFi up 12, GameStop up 567, Matterport down 55, Emmy up 26. That's where we're at right now. Um, Dow up 65, S&P up 15, NASDAQ up 47 points at the moment. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. SoFi, 22.72. Nice. Up 441 on GameStop. We got as high as 206.64 today on GameStop. Uh, right now, 204.50. So down to $2 from the high of the day here. 1.36 million volume traded on GameStop today. Matterport, 24.17. Volume now, 2.59 million. Down 56 cents. Okay. Yeah, uh, Alexander says uh, B fits. You may not know, but there are mar pre market, after market trades, and they, they trade the shares open, you know, right where they left off sometimes on the pre market. That can happen. Um, sometimes it doesn't, though. Uh, John, John is saying there can be significant extended hours trading coupled with international markets and pending limit orders set to go off at the bell. Fumbler just sold a November 5 GameStop covered call. 215 strike for six bucks. Uh, currently trading at uh, 545. Thanks for the stink bit idea, Uncle Bruce. There you go. There you go. Selling it at six, uh, which is ridiculously high for a 215 strike. That's $10 out of the money for this Friday. Um, I like it. The stock backs off to 201 tomorrow. This contract could be two bucks. Uh, yeah, it would be way out of the money and uh, dropping, you bet. That's a heck of a deal. Uh, looks like we're going higher today, baby. Says Pitcom. Uh, Sparky, I think it depends on the actual bid ask of the orders at the bell. If the sellers are not motivated to sell, they will not offer to sell at the lower price, but the buyers have to increase. Um, John, plus market manipulation, if uh, I'm being honest with myself. Mama, Abus, 250 strike by split premium, 40. If sellers are motivated to sell fast, then sellers uh, are willing to lower the price. Um, here we go. What a, what a morning. Portfolio was down 6% to open, and I'm now down 0.5%. My receding hairline needs some stability, says uh, Dust Austin. Uh, Rocket Lab up three. SoFi up a dime. Um, we've got uh, GameStop up uh, 479. Uh, Matterport down 57 cents. So we've got some movement going here. Uh, interesting stuff. Love these uh, these contracts being written on GameStop today that expired this Friday, next Friday. Uh, really good. The 207s, these 215s, uh, the 195s, the, the 200. All oh, love this. Uh, I bought back uh, my 1950 uh, November 5 covered call on SoFi for 280 looking for my next sell opportunity. It's good to be ready. There you go. Um, keep your eye open. Uh, put in a sink, stink offer. Catch all three, says Michael. Uh, neat, 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 says Frumbler. Dana, only down 1700 That is a $700 improvement over the last red day improvement. Oh, yeah. We're improving here. Uh, 205.12, a five on, so, on GameStop. SoFi up a nickel. Rocket Lab up a penny. Right on, guys. Beautiful job. Beautiful job writing calls and uh, taking in some nice premiums here. Um, certainly for options that expire this Friday. Wow, that is something. 206.65 on GameStop. There are definitely opportunities to write fives and 210s and 215s here 
especially on stink offers. You try them, you just put them out there and let them come up to you. Paul, I hear that SoFi had some issues with Bank Charter because of the visa lawsuit. Is that true? I've heard nothing about this whatsoever. I hope that was Vermont White Cheddar so much better. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really Jen knows all about this stuff. Two oh seven on GameStop up another dollar. Uh, more opportunities to write options. Keep your eyes open for opportunities to write call options on your GameStop. Nice. Up six cents on SoFi now. Up three on Rocket Lab. Uh, Matterport down sixty seven. Me eleven ninety eight. All right. Interesting markets all around. Smart ran up 21 cents. Um, IBM down a buck now. Uh, Dow up 77 points. Apple up 190 to 150.86. Uh, it's recovered from the uh, drop off after the earnings last week. Uh, that did not affect the stock. It's gone higher because those orders are pending orders. Even though they delayed, they were not able to get orders out on time for the third quarter. They're for the fourth quarter. They're piling up the money here. It's coming in. Dave, she said, uh, dub liner, uh, Irish cheese cheddar, great stuff if you've never had it. Uh, there you go. Uh, Tesla down 29. Uh, at the moment, um, uh, Royal Caribbean down a dollar and uh, Goldman up 770 a share of 424 going higher on Goldman. Uh, Google up 46. Amazon down 26 right now. And Cisco up $1.34 to 57.44. Okay, cool stuff, man. Cool bean stuff. Uh, 207.90 on GameStop up 7.83. This is kind of the high of the day. Uh, 209 was the high, high, high trade of the day on GameStop. So, so there's some opportunities here to make some nice... Uh, do some nice uh, right, uh, option rights uh, on stink offers. Uh, way to go. Apple also announced a cut in iPad production to save chips for iPhones. Interesting. Interesting, Joe. That is interesting uh, news there. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting markets here. 207 on GameStop, up 691 right now. Yeah, so far, you know, 2262, I mean, it's unchanged. You can always look at writing 2250s. You can look at writing 23s, 24s, 25s. Um, Matterport, down 77 cents. I think we're getting waves of buy support coming in here. I, I think we're going to get higher highs and higher lows on Matterport. It's, it's going to go higher. It is not backing off. It was down 2 bucks this morning. It's not giving up anymore. Just seems to want to come back on. So you might be able to write options on Matterport again today at nice premiums. Keep an eye open for that opportunity. Uh, looking good. Twenty three ninety five on 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 uh, on Matterport. So SoFi, GameStop, Matterport, option writing opportunities. Rocket Lab, uh, write puts um, opportunities there. Um, Lucid had a huge run last week, and I sold some thirty five dollar calls. That were way underwater since the uh, stock price was 42 yesterday. Uh, Uncle Bruce has always said, "Don't do anything." And today, the uh, the stock price is 33. Beautiful thing. There you go. Way to go, man. That's awesome. Uh, this is really crazy with Avis. You can't even see options over 260. Stink bids to buy SoFi calls. Stink bids to sell SoFi calls. No expectation, but seems like a stinky day. <laughs> Nice. Um, and what uh, what's L Lending Club have to do with SoFi's future? I have no idea. Joe, my December 17 Goldman Sachs uh, uh, 425s are about to start earning their keep. Right on, buddy. Way to go, Joe. Beautiful job. Um, 7.42 gain on GameStop. <clears throat> 11 cent gain on SoFi. 71 cent loss on Matterport. Um, and uh, here we go. Lending Club was the first company to acquire a bank. To obtain charter approval, says Joanne. Okay. Cool bean stuff. Rocket Lab up two pennies uh, on the day. Uh, the Dow is still ahead, 69. S&P up 13. The NASDAQ up 32. The oil price down 60 cents, 83.50. We've been down all day on the oil price. All day long. Um we got Dow up 64, S&P up 16, NASDAQ up 62. Um, the U.S. 10-year is at 1.53, so no pressure on rates to go higher at all. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go.
Mm, 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 mm. Looking at headlines here on CNBC. Um, Yahoo's pulling out of China amid challenging environment. And uh, half of Beijing's flights are canceled as China capital city tightens COVID restrictions. Yep. Um, there you go. It's kind of the dealio there. Um, and uh, let's see. Let's take a look over here. Wall Street Journal. Any headlines uh, worthy of uh, wondering? Uh, Elon says Tesla has a signed deal with Hertz. Um, and uh, tariffs to tackle climate change gain momentum. The idea could reshape industries. Um, let's see. Holiday travel, they're saying, get ready for heavy holiday travel. Um, help one at truck drivers to unclog the supply chain. There's been, there's at least 80,000 shortage, 80,000 driver shortage, the last I heard in the U.S. Um, and let's see. Hmm. Just looking for headlines on Wall Street Journal. Not many, uh, not much to uh, think about here for us. It's that kind of day. Uh, we got a lot going on in our world. A rocket Lab at 1428, up a couple pennies. SoFi up 15 now to 2275. GameStop 210 up 10 bucks. There you go. GameStop at 210. Everyone getting richer who owns the stock. And if you're rolling over your options, you're getting richer again. Rolling over your contracts. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, beautiful, folks. Beautiful stuff. Four hundred forty-eight thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody, for the four hundred forty-eight thumbs ups. Appreciate that. Um, and uh, let's see. <laughs> pick pick home. Uh, what they need to install a new SoFi stock trading app would be the soothing music you hear in the casinos. Get me some triple bulls. Uh, looking at uh, Avis, uh, would Hertz be a short squeeze play opportunity? I don't know. Aloha from Robert. Uh, Beach Boy. Hi, Uncle Bruce. I entered a stink bid. Of 2220 for half of those GameStop Feb 200s written for 36 did not catch the seven dollar dip. Waiting for another. That that's all you got to do. That's fine. You're doing you're doing it right. And uh, uh, you know sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. You just kind of go, hey, you want to give them to me? I'll take them. Otherwise, well, I'll see you next time. Lending Club has gone through the same transition that SoFi will go through. I.e. Bank Charter. The valuation is now 45 billion, meaning SoFi can be 50 bucks a share real soon. Perhaps, says Credit Savage. Uh, uh, I've been to some research. I find most bank charters like to get approval lending in the earnings call early in the quarter. Bertie, thank you for this uh, donation. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Thank you, buddy. You keep it going, man. Um, it is absolutely beyond me that people are spending their hard-earned cash buying into uh, Chinese shell companies masquerading as real companies that have no value. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Um uh, let's see. That's right, Uncle Bruce. Uh, some trucking companies are offering bonuses and, and over 100000 a year for people right out of the truck driving schools right now. Um, GameStop needs to rocket, says Birdie. Bill Bus, GameStop is killing me as I sit here with my 185 covered call. Uh, like, whoa, um, Uncle Bruce, is it better to roll on a red day or a green day? Uh, there's no difference. You just kind of pick your spots. Uh, let the stock go. Just don't worry about it. Let it go. Wants to go to 2.8, goes to 2.10, 2.12, fine, fine. Um, you know, turn around, buy your calls back and write 2.10s, 2.15s. Um, if you feel that the, the stock gets like the 2.13, but you don't think it's got much more than that, then write 2.10s in the money. Uh, further, you know, go further out and take a big fat premium plus the book value. Write 2.05s if you can get a big fat premium on top of the 2.05. 
add more money to your account, raise your exercise price, and dare them to take you out. Exactly. Uh, Goyote, uh, thank you for this $10 donation. Thank you for all your work, Albers. My boy showing numbers I used to dream of. I'm really happy here. Nick, I took a small loss and wrote higher covered calls on games. You did a rollover. Um, I see what you're saying. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, otherwise, just be patient. Uh, don't don't be in a hurry to score. Uh, writing calls is using the clock, not necessarily the stock price, the clock as well. Um absolutely way to do this um let's see uh, maybe a rollover uh maybe beach boy but don't be in a hurry uh just just you know let let the stock give you another run another big one um maybe 215 220 if it gets to 220 maybe then uh just yeah let's just see here um if i roll right now i take a two thousand dollar hit uh you you're not going to take a hit uh, if you roll correctly, what you're rolling into will bring you more money than you're spending to buy these back. Otherwise, you don't do the roll. So, Bilba's, I would not uh, worry about that. Uh, SoFi, nearly 18 million shares traded already on SoFi. 22.56, down 6. GameStop, 208, up 8. Um, high of the day on GameStop was 211, so we've given up 3 bucks here. Just keep an eye on it. I took a small loss and wrote hires. Uh, let's see, um, so far nearly 210 for next Friday or 16s, uh, 210 for next Friday for 16s. Um, uh, Rob, I'm not sure what you're asking me on this. So 210 for next Friday. Oh, I, I, I'm seeing what you're saying. Uh, you're thinking about writing 210s for $16, uh, for next Friday. Is that Am I getting this right? You're, you, you, sometimes the code, I don't get the code. Bama, yep, Uncle Bruce, I've been sitting on covered calls, 190 strike for GameStop for November 19th. I'm just waiting. There you go. Just waiting. Bingo. It's all good, Bama, babe. It's all good. Um, 208, 39 on GameStop. Cool. All right. That was uh, only up 57. We're giving up ground. We're up 11, 9 on S&P. Giving up ground there. NASDAQ up 31. All right. Um, Uncle Bruce, I remember you talking about all the trucks on the road here in California. Uh, well, I have to tell you that I'm from Southern California, and I used to work for the Port of L.A. with friends there. Um, it's absolutely madness down there, he says. Uh, they are charging uh, tankers hundreds of dollars per container a day to get them to move. Just wait for it. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Rob, sorry, I'm writing a 210 for 16. Yeah, on GameStop. That's what you. Okay, I got you, Rob. Writing a 210. Writing a 210 for 16 on GameStop. Right on. And I'm assuming next Friday. Okay, so a week Friday is to get. Wow, that's uh, awesome, man. Rob, that's awesome money. Uh, okay, panicked and rolled my 190 GameStop covered call into a 205. For a month out, scored 500 in the process, took it $500, time for a waiting game again. There you go. Yeah. You just moved up $15 on your exercise price. That's $1,500 for a contract. And you added 500 cash. That's 2000 for that move. Don't know what, I don't know what panic, why are you using the word panic? This is brilliant, smart trading. This is smart moving, very conservative, very smart uh, shifting. I love it. Uh, why does Robinhood indicate a fair value of, of SoFi is twenty fifty? Why would you even consider Robinhood a valid anything? Oh, uh, Robinhood, uh, Bertie, Robinhood is not valid at all. Don't pay attention to Robinhood; they're garbage. Okay, you're gonna be fine, buddy. Um, anti uh, smart rent over fourteen now. Um, McClay, I bought myself a February four twenty call on Goldman for twenty four ninety five to sell calls against. But Webull doesn't allow that. The value is going up, so I win, I guess. Uh, well, the value is going up, you win no matter what. But if Webull doesn't allow you to do uh, uh, poor man covered calls, you got to go somewhere else. So that's ridiculous. Uh, shipping cost as a retail chain owner is up 30%. Yeah, I believe it. GameStop 207, we're backing up a little bit here. Uh, GameStop hit a high of 211. We're now at 206.81. We're backing off on GameStop right now. Interesting stuff. Uh, watching everything closely here. Rocket Lab on change. So far down 17 cents. GameStop up 707 now. Matterport up down 73 and ME up 38. 
We've got uh, Smart Rent, 1407 up 32 cents. That's the high of the day now, um, 138,000 up again. Smart Rent going higher and higher and higher. ATIP up one and a half cents, 291 and a half. Go, baby. Don't stop now. Take it higher. 210 on ME up 38. Looking good. GameStop, go, says Bill. Uh, David, uh, yeah, no uh, poor man covered call on Weeble. Um, Rob, uh, Clay, if it's a tax-free account, you might not be able to do a poor man call. Check with your broker. Maybe you need to be approved for a higher level options account. There you go is another good call there. Uh, Clay, I'm definitely going back to TD Ameritrade. I only opened a Weeble account because I was marked. I marked a dirty pattern day trader and restricted in February this year. Uh, Joe, um, aim for 75, 80 cent, uh, 75, 80 delta, deep in the money leap for a, a poor man covered call. DQ, Dave, can you do a debit spread on Weeble? It's the same thing. Uh, interesting. I don't know. We're at 205.84 on GameStop. We're only up 575. We're backing off. Some of you who've written calls, some of you have written 215, some of you wrote 210s. Uh, keep an eye on those calls. They're going to be backing up here. Interesting how this is evol evolving today. What a day today. Uh, $5 drop now on GameStop practically in the last... Uh, 15 minutes. Most interesting movement here. Uh, never a dull moment. 24.04 on Matterport. We're over 24 again. The high of the day, 24.33 on Matterport. Um, SoFi 22.44 down, uh, down 18. We're down 2 on Rocket Lab. Up 37 on ME at 12.09. That looks like the high of the day here. Yeah, 12.12. Right at the high there. That's pretty close. Spire 5.74 down 6 cents. ATIP up 1.5 cents. Smart Rent 14.09. Up 34 near the high of the day, Sextero down a dime. Okay. Uh, IBM down a buck. Dow is up 79. Microsoft up 296. Apple up two bucks. 15106 on Microsoft. Going higher. Looking great. And over on uh, Goldman up 862 to 425. 32. Very nice move. Very nice move. All right. Yeah, the FANG stocks uh, are, are going up, or the MANG stocks, I guess, are going up. Uh, 205.40 on GameStop, up 531. Uh, a little bit of a retrenchment coming in here on uh, on uh, GameStop from that 211 price a little earlier here. Very interesting uh, trades, to say the least. Uh, lots of fun here. Lots of fun, fun, fun. Okay. Cheers, all of you guys. Hope you're making money today. Way to write options, kids. Way to write options. Look for those high prices. Offer, uh, put in stink offers and put in stink bids uh, to pick off, you know, options at ridiculously low prices if they want to come to you that low and or ridiculously high prices if you want to sell one or two or 10 or whatever. Uh, Mang stocks are ones a Cheech Marin invests in Mang. <laughs> Yo, Mang. Um, <laughs> we're down 68 on Matterport, 2405. We're down 24 on SoFi, and we're down two on Rocket Lab. GameStop, 206.28, up 619. Uh, interesting day. We're now up 86 on the Dow. We're nine points away from the hide of the Dow. New record for the Dow. Will we get it? Uh, will we get it? Um, we'll see. Uh, we're, we need like 95 point gain, something like that to have it. 95, 97. Uh, Dave's not here, mate. Dave's not here. <clears throat> okay. Oil down 87 now. 83.18 on oil. Um, happy pep. I decided to buy back GameStop cover calls and sell my longer term calls. Um, in 32 days, I invested 12 grand, made four grand profit. We'll wait for dip into the 170s to get back in. Interesting, interesting. Um, and um, uh, rehigh apothecated shorts, uh, whatever that means. Uh, and um, GameStop 205.85 up 576 now uh, on GameStop, coming back a little bit more. Okay. <sighs> 
86 point game we're at 36,000 on the Dow Jones nine points away from a new high approximately 36,003 so we're now six points away from a new all-time high on the Dow okay and 36,004 a little better ME up 546 to 205.55 GameStop up to 546 um, ME up 38 cents to 12.10. The Dow, 36,002.86, uh, just about six odd points away. All right. Um, who cares? Says, I wrote a $300 covered call uh, and I got a $2 premium expiring Friday. I love gamblers. Uh, there you go. Uh, Miracle, hey, Uncle Bruce, I just rolled four GameStop covered call strike between 185 and 195 for November the 12th um till 26 into december okay let me see if we get this right november 12th uh, till december 3rd 17th into 210 15s for a profit of 324 average okay so i rolled four covered calls 185s 195s uh from november 12th to 26 into december 3 and 17s for 210s and 215 dollars strike price for a profit of 324 average nice job nice job so that's so uh, what twelve hundred bucks thirteen hundred dollars to you net cash grow uh in your account plus you upped your uh exercise by uh 25 bucks uh 20 yeah 25 to 30 dollars a share i like that yeah I, that, that's a good move Merkel. that's a real good move really smart uh, way to go man you're getting it you're getting it now you're getting it uh good good going uh uh, we're at a new all-time high, 36,014 for the Dow. We're at a new all-time high. We just hit it while I was doing Mirko's messaging here. 30,000, is the new all-time high, up about seven points from the previous record. We're up 102 points. s and is up 16, Nasdaq's up 37, and so we've got uh, we got a gain there. SEC Chair Gensler likens crypto to early seed investing, warns many coins will fail. That's what he's thinking. Uh, I say buy buy stock, uh, buy stock in these companies we follow, and uh, there's no risk there. Nothing but upside. Uh, Rocket Lab down a penny. SoFi down 16. GameStop at 207 up seven dollars. Matterport down 69 cents. Emmy up 38 cents. Spire down seven. ATIP 294 up four cents. Uh, ATIP is up the 294. On 227,000 volume, uh, we're moving up a little bit here. We like it. Uh, we like a lot. We'd like to see it really go. Mm, smart rent, 35 cent gain to 14.10. It's also popping up right now. High of the day, 14.13 on 151,000 volume. Uh, Sextera down a dime at this point in time. Okay. GameStop 206.15. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Picked up Apple November 12th. Covered, uh, 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 sorry, picked up Apple November 12th call, 149s on Monday to rescue a pre earnings mishap last Friday. They're up 60% today. Joe, way to go, buddy. Nice job. Uh, Bill, you're the man. Bought more today on the dip. AB, man, I love the fast food apps when they work. Skip the lines, drive through, and all that, says AB. Uh, SoFi down a dime, Rocket Lab down a penny, GameStop up 640, Matterport down 69 cents, ME up 32 now, Spire up uh, down seven, and ATIP up four cents. The Dow up 113 to 36.27. That puts us 26 points, 16 points into the record. A uh, higher move for the Dow now, uh, at the moment. Okay. That's the deal on the, on the markets. Uh, they are higher. Rocket Lab just went up two pennies on the day. SoFi only down nine cents right now. Uh, ATIP 294 up four. Uh, my loop brings hit another high, says Spire. Uh, Splare, uh, Bill, temporary hero. Um, Austin, how does ATIP have a trip, a tip rank score of six and isn't a buy? That's a double. Okay, to AB, that's how I feel about food deliveries. I had to delete them from my phone too. Too tempting. Uh, Delahote is laughing. Uh, okay, um, up seven on GameStop and uh, twenty four oh one on Matterport. Alrighty, uh, wow. Um, McDonald's and Chick Fil A are legit. The
the only fast food place I saw that handles it well. No matter, Warren Buffett uses Rotten Ronnie's as a metric for how things are going. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, people are happy about Avis, but we, we don't follow Avis here. I really don't follow it. Um, we've got a uh, we've got a four cent gain on Rocket Lab now. We're only down two cents on SoFi. We're coming back on again, time and time again. SoFi comes back. It just keeps coming back to the break even line and goes positive. Uh, Matterport twenty four oh five. Will it break into a new high here or, or not? It needs to get over twenty four thirty three. Me at twelve oh four. Spire down seven and ATIP up three and a half cents. Smart rent up 32 to 1407 right now. Rocket Lab is 1430. Uh, interesting, interesting day. The Dow holding this gain of 36,029. That's a 20 point gain over the last record. Um, 116 point gain, now 117. The Dow is going higher. <clears throat> Money is coming into these markets and it is filtering to our stock. So far, now unchanged on the day. It's come right back. Um, interesting stuff gotta love this market guys uh, i think you guys are making money thank you for the thumbs ups today we have 467 thumbs ups today thank you for these appreciate them very much uh they all add up and uh helps uh, youtube to promote this channel to other followers telling them hey check this guy out uh he uh talks about stocks you might be interested in uh, love this. Thank you all for your support of these thumbs ups. They make a huge difference to this channel's performance on YouTube. I thank you very, very, very much. Um, Jen loves it as well. Um, also, those of you becoming subscribers, thank you for joining in. Also, those of you who are becoming members and renewing your memberships, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the sign of support. Larry, thank you for the thumbs up. I love it. Beautiful. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. All kinds of activity uh, going on here. Lots happening. Ro GameStop 206.73 up 6.64. High today 2.11. Uh, watching that closely. I'll be back on this afternoon at 3 o'clock, you guys. Uh, stick around and, and join me at that point. And let's see what happens. Thank you, Bruce, says Robert. Uh, 420 thumbs, says Nelson. Uh, you're number 420. 4, 483 now on the thumbs up meter. Uh, Paul, you should have uh, 547 thumbs up when you have 549 watching. That's all he has to say. Uh, there you go. I think he's right. Uh, if you can find a you can find a thumbs up, you guys, help me out. Uh, 487 right now. Let's hit 500. At least get us to 500 thumbs ups. There's 488 right now. That's coming in pretty cool. 493 now, only seven away from 500. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, five to go. 495 in, five to go. Here we go. We're going to hit 500 thumbs ups. 496. One more. Four to go. 501, there it is. Bingo. Bam. Boom. Thank you so much, guys, for that. Um, come on, 500. Rest up, Uncle B. I'm in my 700th meeting, but I think you're getting up. Thanks, Uncle B. See you this afternoon. And Cheryl, I was number 485. Thank you, Cheryl, for, for stepping up and helping out this uh, channel. Uh, good job, guys. Help this man out. 500. Nice. See you all this afternoon, Bagel family. We'll see you at 3 o'clock Eastern, and we'll finish off the last hour of the day. See how we're doing. We're up four on SoFi, five on Rocket Lab. We're up seven bucks on uh, GameStop. Still down 77 on Matterport, up 27 on ME, down 6 on Spire. We're up 3.5 on ATIP, up 31 on Smart Rent, down 9 on Sextera. Join me at 3 Eastern for the final hour, the final hour countdown. Let's see how we're doing. John, thank you. Uh, Gaiotti, thank you. Bama, babe, see the simpletons. Uh, let's put up some of these neat emojis and get this chat going here. Get these stocks going. You know how these stocks go. Once you put the knee emojis up, there's no stop in the stock market. Knee, 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 knee. We're going higher, baby. These stocks are going higher. There's nothing to stop it now. Hooey. See, on the flip side is right. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you. Here we go. There we are. We're going in with the, with those. Oh, baby. The knee, knee emojis are coming on now. <clears throat> the markets are going to take off. You can't stop the markets now. Look out. I want to rock. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you this afternoon at 3. <laughs> Bye for now.